Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Ariel. Good morning, Sir Maj. Um, good morning sa ating mga teachers, sa ating mga principal, SDA, sa mga private school owners, private school teachers, sa mga nag-aaral pa lang, and everybody, good morning. Ayong buntag sa inyong tanang. So maraming salamat po ulit kami ay inyong sinamahan ngayong lunes, Monday. Yes, Monday. Exactly 71 days bago mag-August 24. So, ayun <laughs> yung ating ano, 71 days lang. So, uh, sana mas mabilis at ma maging okay na tayo before that. No? Maganda na ang ating uh, sitwasyon sa mundo. And para mas maging uh, maganda ang ating sitwasyon, tayo ay dapat na magpasalamat at magdasal. Yep. So tawagin na natin ang ating uh, maglilit sa ating prayer, ang ating uh, mami, Mami Weng from SDO Makati, uh, Makati Science High School. Magandang umaga, Mami Weng. Good morning, Mami Weng. I think uh, lumabas si Mami Weng, sir. Yeah. If, uh, oh. if you may, pwede pong ikaw na po, sir, maglilit. Sige, let's um, pray. So, let us put ourselves in the holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, that we thank you for this morning. We thank you for our lives, Father God. The Father God, that we pray that you will continue to bless us. You will continue to protect us, Lord God. Lord, um, uh, we pray that you will lead us with our session for today and everything that we will learn today will be shared. Everything that we will learn today will be used for your glory, O oh God. Uh, Father God, uh, we pray for the protection of our families, for the protection of all the frontliners, Lord God. Lord, uh, we lift everything to you today. In this we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so Amen. exciting, exciting ang ating uh, webinar session today kasi nagkaroon tayo ng first part nito last uh, May, tama? Yes, sir. Yeah, Ito so, talagang uh, maraming, maraming nag-enjoy ng kanilang uh, first session with Canva na talagang wow, grabe, ang dali lang palang gumawa ng mga poster, ng mga magpag-design, so gamit ang Canva application. So sigurado ako today, mas marami pa tayong uh, may expect na matututunan. Yes, yung mga infographics, yung mga enrollment, invitation sa enrollment, ay kita natin, no? Yung paggamit ng Canva using, uh, yung paggawa ng mga invitation for Brigada Escuela and all, no? Eh, ginamit yung Canva. And what else? Um, eh, may mga estudyante, mga nag-aaral ng master's, sila Ma'am Lorena, yan, mga sila Sir LJ, mga nag-aaral. Naging project yata nila ang Canva. Gumawa ng infographics wow. about education so, gamit ang Canva. So, hello sa inyo sa mga nag-aaral ng masters and sa mga professors na pinapagamit ang Canva. Yan, maraming salamat. Alright, so huwag na natin patagalin. Sir Ariel, I think nandyan na ang ating director para magbigay ng kanyang welcoming remarks. Ang ating director for ng ICTS, walang iba kundi ang ating director YC Abanil. Uh, magandang umaga po, direct. Good morning, direct. Uh, Morning, morning, Mark. Uh, morning, oh, Ariel. Hi, uh, morning din sa ating, uh, good morning din sa ating mga viewers. Uh, good morning sa mga school heads, sa mga teachers, parents, and mga uh, students who are watching this uh, webinar. No? Welcome to this webinar on uh, Canva. This is actually the second time we're uh, doing the webinar for Canva. I'm not sure kung may bago silang ituturo or repeat lang ito nung, ano, no, nung first uh, webinar and uh, we would like to thank you, mga speakers natin sa mga sa Canva. Um, they have uh, allotted, I think, mga apat na tao to help us to teach us on how to make use of Canva for our uh, classes. No, so Canva is actually very. Uh, may mga ka, ka similarities siya with uh, Adobe software in that you can create mga graphics, mga posters, and so on. Pero ang kagandahan ni tong Canva is that. Uh, marami siyang mga templates which would be allow you to produce yung mga graphics niyo in a very short span of time compared sa Adobe. Yung Adobe, maraming features pero uh, kunti sa mga templates. No? Itong Canva, uh, less yung features niya compared sa Adobe pero ang dami naman yung templates which would allow you to uh, 
uh, produce yung mga graphics sa uh, quite uh, fast no sa mga nag-attend ng mga ibang uh, webinars namin on uh, basic OER and uh, yung mga pag-develop ng mga e-books uh, this uh, Canva is a very very nice um, uh, complementation dun sa ibang webinars namin dahil it will allow you to create graphics that you will embed in your uh, that you can embed in your e-books and so on uh, we would like also to announce na medyo uh, yung dati kasi yung problema namin, marami kami yung backlog sa pag-issue ng certificates. No? Uh, we're very happy to announce na nung weekend, uh, we launch our learning management system or uh, teacher training. No? And uh, this particular system, uh, pwede kayong mag-anula, uh, take lang ng quiz dun sa system. Kung pasado kayo sa quiz, uh, may issue kaagad yung ano ninyo yung mga certificates niyo so um kasi abangan niyo itong uh, learning management system in in train na rin namin yung NEAP sa kayong BHRD uh, regarding this system so uh, we hope that uh, by July makapagsimula na rin ang NEAP sa sa mga regions in using the learning management uh, system that we have uh, developed dito sa ICTS with uh, ETU para um mas mapadali yung mga online trainings mas mapadali yung pag issue ng mga certificates, pwede nila rin tayo mag-conduct ng mga asynchronous na uh, teacher trainings uh, uh, for our, for, to prepare for the COVID. No? We're also in the process of uh, customizing na rin yung learning management para sa students, para sa, in, para sa, in, uh, para magamit din ninyo sa inyong mga, mga class. And we have used actually Moodle for uh, this part for this particular purpose. So, uh, marami na sa inyo nakadaan sa uh, Moodle training. Kung gusto kung hindi ba kayo nakapag-attend sa Moodle training, mag-attend lang kayo ng advanced na OER na training. Isa sa topics dun is how to use Moodle in your uh, respective uh, classes. Uh, we would also like to thank yung mga guru and school heads natin sa efforts ninyo with regards to the uh, pag-enroll ng ating mga kabataan for this school year, no? Nung June 12, more than 9 million, actually almost 10 million na na enrollees ang pumasok, ang nagpa-enroll uh, using yung remote or distance um, enrollment procedures ng department. This is almost one half na ma. Sa 40% na ng ating mga kabataan ay enrolled na sa ating mga schools for August uh, 24. So this is a very big statement of trust sa atin uh, sa DepEd and we are very thankful sa mga magulang, sa, ka, sa mga kabataan who have shown that they are trusting the Department of Education uh, in providing um, a safe uh, safe schooling for them in the upcoming uh, school year. Uh, we're already arranging, uh, pagdating sa July, we're arranging na magkakaroon tayo ng webinars for the parents. Ang plano namin is maglagay kami ng announcement dun sa DepEd Commons immediately. We, have, uh, we potentially can reach around 8 million uh, tao who are already um, using the DepEd Commons. No? And siguro finally, uh, I would just like to call on you uh, to help us find yung mga remaining teachers who are not yet um, availing of our uh, webinars. No, We have already trained around 38% of the teachers, public school teachers nationwide. Uh, when we look at the statistics, we expect na meron pang additional 10% na may sariling uh, internet sa kanilang bahay. So mga sa around 90,000 pa na teachers na may kanyang uh, sariling internet sa residence nila ay hindi pa natin na uh, re-reach. So we hope you can uh, inform your colleagues na merong ganitong online webinars and we also hope that you can do your own respective uh, learning action sales in your respective schools para maturuan naman natin yung ibang mga uh, kasamahan natin on how to uh, make use of ICT, make use of this very, very uh, interesting and very powerful tools so that uh, makonduct natin yung classes natin uh, in a distance uh, learning modality uh, pero dapat uh, pero magawa natin uh, use uh, interest maging interesting sa ating mga bata and we can also provide uh, feedback we can uh, provide yung mga collaborative activities dito sa ating uh, using yung ating mga ICT tools uh, that we are Fighting in this webinar. So again, good morning. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat for attending this uh, webinar. Yeah, so thank you. Okay. Thank you, Derek. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. So uh, thank you, Ariel. Kita-kita ulit. Bukas ba ang sunod? <laughs>
ano lang yun. Wednesday, yes, sir. Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, sige. Kung, uh, Salamat. Thank you. Thank you, Alright, so, so, Sir Macho, so, ayun nga, sabi ni Derek, uh, we're calling all doon sa mga teachers na hindi pa nakaka-attend ang ating webinars to be part of this kasi um, everything that we are um, giving them ay magagamit nila for their um, delivery o nung kanilang mga lessons kapag dumating na ang ating pasukan. Yes, tama ka Sir Ariel. And the mention nga ni Direk na doon sa numbers na, na pinakita niya na marami or shinare niya na marami nang nag-enroll at nararamdaman natin at based doon, based doon ay nararamdaman natin na talagang uh, yung tiwala ng mga magulang, na tiwala ng ating uh, Uh, society para sa ating Department of Education ay nararamdaman at na, nakikita nila yung effort na ginagawa ng ating DepEd. Yes, so talagang we are actually preparing all the educators, even the parents, even the, our learners. So lahat ito ay nagsama-sama para maganda yung ating education kahit meron tayong nararanasang pandemic. And ca can you share your experience, Sir Maj, of Um, exploring or using our LMS. Kamusta? Nakapasa ka ba dun sa ating <laughs> in-item <laughs> test? <laughs> Oo naman, Sir Ariel. Nakapasa. Dapat talaga required makapasa tayo. Pero uh, sa mga teachers natin na uh, talagang uh, may nag-PPM nga, Sir, Sir, 14 lang ang nakuha ko. Bakit ganun? Ano yung isa? Tapos, <laughs> pang ilang take na daw niya, pang five. Pero sabi ko nga, huwag kang bibitaw, ma'am. Kayang-kaya mong sagutan yan. At uh, yun yeah. nga, alam mo yung mga wow moment, yung mga sobrang uh, eureka moment na talagang success na ipasa ko. Talagang marami tayong nababasang ganyang post sa Facebook ngayon, Sir Ariel. Yes, parang ano lang, parang estudyante ka lang din. No? Even if you fail, pwede pang magano, pwede ka pa ulit umulit. No? May, meron pa tayong pagkakataon. And, and I think, I'm very sure talagang makakapasa tayo if... From the beginning until the end, you watch the, ano, the the webinar session. So it's really very important that you watch the the whole duration of our webinar. Because there are some people who ask, "How can we get the access? How can we proceed to this uh, to this part?" So you will learn that if you just um, watch the entire webinar session. Yes, and exciting yung LMS na yan dahil starting ala uh, nung ating uh, uh, June 12 ay na-introduce natin ang LMS at naging part ng history ang ating mga participants, mga webinar participants sa paggamit ng kauna-unahang DepEd PD LMS. Yes, so ayan, dahil meron tayong bagong session for today, so ating, ang ating Canva team, ito ay panibago na namang laman ng ating um, LMS at paniguradong meron na naman tayong sasagutan to get our certificate. And mind you, when you answer, when you get it perfectly, you can easily get your certificate right away. Exactly. Tama, Sir Ariel. So, kailangan lang tumutok po kayo at uh, makinig sa ating uh, speaker. And at the same time, uh, pwede kayo mag-take down notes kung medyo uh, gusto nyo pang mas matandaan or maalala yung mga kung may sasabihin po mga uh, information na pwede madali natin malimutan. And at the same time, sabi nga natin, meron tayong tinatawag na team replay. Kung yeah, mabagal marami. ang ating internet. Yes. Mukhang maraming magiging team replay ngayon kasi I think some of the schools are now open for enrollment. So may mga skeletal workforce na sila na pumasok na nanonood habang naghihintay ng enrollees. Hello, good morning sa inyo dyan. Saludo sa Hello. mga masisipag na kaguruan. And kahit nasa bahay, mga tumatawag at naghihikayat pa rin sa ating mga parents to enroll and give the trash to our department para sa mga kinabukasan ng kanilang mga estudyante. And with that, Siguro, uh, wag na natin patagalin to introduce our mga speakers. So today we will have, uh, ano bang meron sa atin today? So we will have a hands-on workshop para sa ating teachers, educators, kahit yung mga hindi educators, learners, parents, kahit sino pwede. Um, this is nationwide, this is recorded. So ang ating mga bisite, uh, bisita ay from our Canva team. They are the Canva education team headed by, oh, umpisahan na ni Miss Gladys, ang kanilang community lead. Si Ma'am um, Gladys ay ang community lead. She will introduce our Canva for Education. Ano pa yung mga questions, yung mga 
tanong na pwedeng sagutin ni Ma'am Gladys. Hi, good morning Ma'am Gladys. Good morning po Sir Mad, Sir Ariel. Good morning po. Good morning all teachers, educators, and my mom. <laughs> okay, and syempre sasamahan si Ma'am Gladys ng ating creative lead for illustration. So, she will discuss the Canva basic and pro tips. Si Ma'am Che. Hello, good morning Ma'am Che. Morning, Manche. Good morning. Ayan. So, siyempre nandito rin ang ating art director, the temp for template design. She will be giving us or she will share yung skills for designing educational content on Canva. Si Ma'am Teya. Good morning, Ma'am Teya. Good morning, Ma'am Teya. Morning. And... The thorn among the roses of our speaker. Um, <laughs> ayan. Ang head of the design. Presentations to impress, creating engaging video content on Canva. So, nung akala natin, no, yung Canva, it's um, plain lang, parang slides lang. So, meron pala yeah. itong um, exciting feature, no? An interesting feature, ang video content on Canva. It will be discussed by Sir Angelo. Good morning, Sir Angelo. Morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, sir Mark. Good morning, sir Aya. Good morning, sa mga nanonood. Good morning, po. And we um um ating mga bisita, Canva team. Uh, mind you that we are broadcasted. Tayo ay live streaming sa Facebook Live nationwide. And na abut nimo natin ang ating mga kaibigan from different parts of the world. So good morning sa inyo lahat. <laughs> morning. Yes, sir. Ayan, sir, yes, we sir, have more than yung, uh, almost 10,000 ating viewers. Almost 10,000 viewers today. So, YouTube wow. and so, hello po sa inyo. Hello po sa inyo. So, so madadagdagan pa yan when uh, yeah. siguro habang tumatagal tayo. And syempre, dahil ito ay Canva team, we also have the Canva community na kasi. So, all the Canva community are watching. So, hello po. Good morning po sa inyo. And Sir Madge, um, can we tell us ano yung mga dapat i-prepare for our uh, session for this morning? Yes, Sir Ariel. So, thank you. Uh, again, uh, yesterday, nag-post na tayo ng ating uh, digital poster ng at about our Canva for Education workshop. And uh, kung hindi or pa kayo nakapag-prepare or ngayon pa lang po ninyo na-open ang inyong uh, Facebook, so please, uh, ito yung mga dapat i-prepare before the session. We need to explore Canva for Education at https colon double slash www.canva.com slash education. If you are a K-12 uh, teacher or school personnel, you may sign up for Canva for Education account by going to www.canva.com slash edu dash sign up. You'll need to use your teacher email domain. So ito yung mga .edu.ph, .edu.gov.ph, or ph.education. So we, we know may mga schools po na meron ng sariling domain. And then, Lastly, you need to verify your email address. All right, Sir Ariel, I think excited na tayo for our Canva for Education Workshop. Yes, so teachers, get ready dahil ito na, i-prepare na natin ang ating signal, i-prepare na natin ang ating mga gadgets, mm -hmm. ang ating mga devices because, ayan, yan, pinapakita ni Sir Maj, kailangan, kailangan wow. po yan, yung tubig na yan, dahil kapag on the, ongoing yung ating session, tapos, napalingat ka lang ng konti, iba na yung pinapresent ng ating speaker and then you need to reply, you need to replay yung ating uh, webinar session. So, are, we are already excited, Gamba team. Are you also um, excited? Yes, super Very excited. So, let's have our first discussion about the FAQs about Canva to introduce Canva. Let's have Ma'am Gladys. Ma'am Gladys, take it away. Thank you so much, Sir Ariel, Sir Madge. Good morning, mga teachers. Good morning, educators. And alam ko marami tayong mga um, parents din na nanonood and want to learn more about Canva and how they can incorporate it, syempre, in teaching our young ones. Kanyan. So, good morning. Today, we're going to learn um, about Canva for Education Workshop. I know it says a hands-on workshop for K-12 teachers, but also whatever kind of educator you are, welcome po kayo, even librarians and school personnel. Even yung mga mommies and daddies, 
um, for their little one. So magpapakilala muna po ako. Ako po si Gladys Laforte. I am the Canva Philippines Community Lead. So we take care of everything, social media, um, and even the Canva for Filipino Teachers Community and the Canva for Freelancers Community um, on Facebook. So um, pagka po may mga tanong kayo doon, kami yung mga nagre-reply, yung team namin, ganyan. Today, um, we have a busog, lusog, siksik, siksik na siksik na webinar prepared for you. Um, let me go to the next screen. Ganyan. Okay, so we're gonna talk about um, intro to Canva and Canva for Education. I'm gonna let you know more about it. Um, we're gonna talk about Canva basics and pro tips, designing education. One sec. Ah, so apparently, hindi nyo pala nakikita yung aking screen. Okay, one sec. All right. Ayan, sir. Ayan. Diyan ang aking screen. While I'm talking about it. Okay. So we're gonna intro to Canva. Canva basics, pro, and tips. So marami po kasing nag-uumpisa pa lang sa Canva. Um... So, hindi pa nila talaga alam kung paano mag-design. So, we're gonna talk more about that. We're gonna talk about designing educational content. Um, so, meron tayong mga worksheets na available for your use. Um, so, tuturuan namin kayo kung paano siya gagamitin and paano siya ipapersonalize for your students. One sec. Okay. Um... And then presentations to impress. So a lot of you, um, a lot of us are going to transition to yung non-face-to-face -face learning. So we're going to do a lot of presentations and paano to magiging effective para sa students natin. Kasi it's a whole new norm nga kung tawagin. We're also going to um, talk about creating video content because if you're not part of the Canva for Filipino teachers yet, sobrang nag enjoy po ang mga teachers natin sa paggawa ng mga video animations and videos on Canva. So we're going to talk about that later as well. Okay. Ayan, nakikita niya na screen ko. Alright. So, this is an introduction to Canva. Ang usual na tanong po kasi, pag sinasabi kong nagtatrabaho ako sa Canva or saan mo dinesign to, ang lagi nilang tanong, ano ba yung Canva? <laughs> what is Canva? Um, so, Canva is an online design tool that enables you to easily create beautiful and engaging designs with thousands of templates. So, usually po kasi, ang problema natin, Kunwari, ako sasabihin ko, hindi ako masyadong creative. Hindi ko kayang mag-design ng, alam mo yun, ng infographics or presentations or anything pang post sa social media. But with Canva, we have thousands of templates for you to choose from para hindi nyo na po problemahin yung design-wise, i-edit nyo na lang. Okay. The usual way of creating a good design before Canva is actually medyo, ayan, matrabaho siya from purchasing the software na gagamitin nyo up to preparing it for posting it on the web or printing it. But with Canva, we made it simple and integrated. So, na-cut down yung maraming um, steps. Um, and now, it's all in Canva. So, all the elements that you would need, all the fonts that you would need, even the design, i-edit nyo na lang ng konti yung text. Um, and then, it's ready to be published um, anywhere in the world maging printed man yan or um, a presentation or for social media. Ayan. So, yay, Canva! Ayan. Uh, Canva's goal really is to empower the world to design. Um, before Canva, we know that it was hard for everyone to, um, and medyo expensive din po, to find someone to create graphics for you. So, us, we believe that everyone can design and that's through Canva. But we're stepping it one, one notch. Um, other than empowering everyone, we also want to empower every classroom, every teacher, every student to design, especially with the new norm. Okay. Part of that, um, empowering every uh, classroom teacher and student to design, is really integrating our values. So sa Canva po, uh, wala kaming guidelines or rules or mga ganyan. Meron kaming six values <clears throat> na sinusunod. And this is what we incorporate in everything that we do in Canva, in and outside of Canva. And so, 
um, us reaching out to teachers and why are we investing in education is really because it aligns most with the core value namin to be a force for good. Yun din po aking t-shirt today. So I really want to be a force for good and, and just help you guys. And so then, may gift kami sa inyo, um, K-12 K teachers, even um, actually slash natin yan, pwede ring ALS and SPED, um, educators, librarians, school personnel, pwede din po in the Philippines and worldwide. And this is our gift, Canva for Education. Yay! May pa confetti. To learn more of Canva for Education, please go to canva.com slash education. But what it really is, is um it's a premium version of canva so canva pro siya um it's a creativity tool for every classroom and ang magandang balita po if you do apply and you are an educator it is 100 free for you now tomorrow and forever basta mag-apply lang po kayo okay um dadaanan ko yung features and dadaanan ko yung FAQs in a little bit inum lang po ako ng tubig medyo bumabara na <coughs> excuse me okay so yun um can before education yay all right so let's talk about it a little bit <coughs> yun um, the, the goal really is we want to empower every teachers um, and, and schools in the Philippines and that's why we're giving it for free. Yun talaga po yung suporta namin sa inyo. Okay. So, um, what is Canva for Education? So, a lot of you guys are already using Canva for free sa personal accounts ninyo. Ano ba yung difference niya sa Canva for Education? So, just a quick look at it you would see na parang, okay, ito yung free on the left side and there's, you know, a number of um, free features for you to enjoy. So, makakagawa kayo. But for Canva for Education, di lang po siya doble, di lang siya triple. It's like times 100 dun sa free um, accounts din yun. You will get over 60,000 beautifully crafted templates to inspire para hindi nyo naiisipin yung design-wise. Isipin nyo na lang yung content-wise nung gagawin niyo. <clears throat> you also get free unlimited content. Um, so, kung nagka-canva na po kayo, meron kaming libraries of elements, photos, um, and templates. And usually yan, pag naka-free account kayo, you would see um, meron tayong mga premium elements and photos na kailangan bayaran. But if you do apply for Canva for Education, free na po yan sa inyo um, for your usage, for your worksheets, for everything that you need to do. Ang daming libre, di ba? <laughs> you also get, puro free, you also get 700 plus free premium funds to unleash your creativity. And very, very proud po kami this year, well, last year late last year we started um adding filipino made fonts so if makikita nyo meron kaming kiapo um yan yung mga jeepney fonts natin ganyan alam na alam natin yan meron kaming kubaw so yan yung mga nasa buses ganyan um meron din bagong kundiman proud na proud po kami na meron din tayong baybayin fonts um and soon in in i think in a few weeks we're gonna put out um, a how-to video on how to write in by buying using Canva. So that's really exciting and it's all free if you um, apply for Canva for education. Um, you also have all new collaboration space for the whole class to design together or your co-teachers. So if you're using Google Docs, it's the same um, idea where you put a comment on say a certain element or somewhere in the design and you leave it and you tag your student or your co-teacher to see it, ganyan, ayan. So very digital na tayo. You'll also have a lot of folders to manage your content and keep track of progresses. So if medyo organized kayo, pwede nyo ilagay sa folders, ganyan. Ako medyo hindi ako organized masyado. Um, and most of all, I'm happy to announce that we are COPA and FERPA compliant. So sa mga teachers and parents, meron po kayong peace of mind na safe po ang Canva for Education. If you do add your students um, and kids, it's safe for those 13 years old and below. Ayan. 
Okay, so um, frequently asked questions about Canva for Education. Let's start it. These questions, um, actually, we got from the Canva for Filipino Teachers community that we have on Facebook. Um, and so we're going to address it. All right. First question. Pwede ba ako mag-apply sa Canva for Education? Am I eligible for it? Ganyan. So ang, ang straight up answer po, if you are a K-12 teacher, yes, you are. Um, if you are, say, a college professor, basta teacher po kayo, yes, you are. Uh, we also welcome school personnel, librarians, administrators, and many more. As long as um, in the application process, you would provide IDs lang or proof of your um, employment sa school. Yan. All right. Ayan. So, take note nyo po yan. Gusto nyo screenshot, sulat, yan. Okay. Next question. How can I sign up for Canva for Education? Okay. So, a lot of our viewers right now are teachers. If you have a school or DepEd email domain, meaning yung .edu.ph, yung end ng email address nyo, or depet.gov.ph or ph.education, if you go to, ayan, nakabold po, canva.com slash edu dash sign up. If you go to that, um, we have already whitelisted email domains using school and deped um, domains. So if you apply through there, automatic magagrant po ang inyong Canva for Education at automatic pag ni-refresh nyo, magagamit nyo na yung premium features na libre po sa inyo. Now, marami nagtatanong, what if yung school ninyo doesn't have a school email domain or a DepEd email domain. It's okay as long as you are an educator. For personal email addresses, meaning Gmail, Yahoo, Hotmail, kung ano pa mga uh, email domains natin. Um, if you have that kind of email address, just set up a free Canva account first and then go to bit.ly slash canvaph-eduk um, to sign up. This usually takes a little bit longer, pero ma-approve din po kayo. Okay, so screenshot, take down the notes. Um, I believe our team is already commenting and copying the links dyan sa ating comment section. So if you just want to click on that, ayan po. Okay, so I submitted my application, what's next? Uh, like I... Uh, said earlier, for school and DepEd email domains, it should be automatically upgraded kasi naka-whitelist na po kayo. For personal email addresses, please allow a week for the application process. What we've learned dun sa last seminar namin, ang dami nyo po pala. Um, and we all want to grant your applications. But at the same time, uh, syempre kailangan dumaan sa proseso. So please give us at least a week um, to just take care of all your applications. Nonetheless, I promise it will be granted and we will send you an email as soon as we can. Okay. Next, okay, ito na yung mga may account. Um, so, ang laging tanong, is my, account, is my account upgraded yet? So, if you want to check if your account has been upgraded, this is best to um, be done on your desktop or your laptop. So, go to your Canva account, click on your profile icon, Go to account settings, billing and teams, and then your subscription should indicate Canva for Education tulad nito pong naka-encircle yeah, naka under subscription. So it should say Canva for Education. If it doesn't say Canva for Education, hindi pa po kayo upgraded. Ganyan. Minsan may mga naka-upgrade na sarili nila, um, it should say Canva Pro. So yon. So if it's not Canva for Education, hindi pa po yan, I suggest that you apply it. All right. Mahalaga yan. Ayan. Susunod na tanong. Napakabenta po nito sa um, community natin. Why does my account say next bill on? Kasi po, dun, under subscriptions, you would see yung next bill and then a date. So, automatically, um, we think na mag expire na yung subscription ninyo o macho-charge kayo, ganyan. Um, hindi po, yun, uh, it's, it's for free today, it's free tomorrow, it's free forever as long as upgraded na kayo. Canva for Education, um, so we, yung cycle niya refreshes every month. 
Um, so, yung next bill po na yun is yung actual date kung kailan marirefresh yung cycle ninyo. It doesn't mean uh, na due date siya para magbayad kayo. Wala po kami ganun. Um, it doesn't also mean na expiration date siya because um, it's free forever for you. Ganyan. At higit sa lahat yun, um, I will just expound on this. You will not get charged for premium access. If you do get charged for premium access, please let us know agad on our social media pages para matulungan namin kayong i-refund. But it shouldn't happen. Okay. Next is, so dahil nga po, may mga natataranta na merong next bill on and then they'll see the date, what they usually do is click on cancel subscription. Once you cancel the subscription, you will see undo cancellation. However, due to system, medyo inaiso po namin yung system, when you undo it, hindi naman po talaga siya na-undo. So, what you can do is you can send us a DM via our Facebook page um, and we can revert it for you. Okay. Actually, slash that DM, meron pa pala akong isang slide. It would be much better if you can send us an email via canva-educ-philippines at canva.com so we can revert it for you. And if you have any questions, please do send us an email here. Ayan, screenshot nyo na, take down notes nyo na po. Ayan. Um, and we'll be happy to uh, answer any questions or um, troubleshoot any problems you might have with Canva for Education. We have a team ready to um, respond to you 24-7. Yeah. Canva-eduk-philippines at canva.com. Okay. Okay. If you have more questions, ayan, same um, email address. Please screenshot, send us an email any time of the day. We'll respond to you as soon as we can. Alright, so that's all our FAQs. Alam ko marami pa po kayong mga tanong um, and you want to talk to us and other teachers using Canva. I highly, highly recommend that you join our exclusive teachers community. It's Canva for Filipino Teachers on Facebook. You can just search for it. As of the moment, we have almost 12,000 uh, Filipino teachers in the community and we've been sharing a lot of um yung mga gawa namin uh yung mga designs um usually ang mga sina share lately yung mga enrollment graphics um and infographics ganyan so you'll get a lot of inspiration from there and you can talk to us and other teachers that are using canva so canva for filipino teachers on facebook please do join it's so fun and we have a lot of um games and giveaways Ayan. All right. Um, and so also follow us on social media. It's um, Canva on Facebook, um, Canva underscore PH on Twitter and Instagram. Please do follow us. Uh, maganda po ang aming mga content. It's very relatable to everything that's happening in the Philippines every day. Ganyan. All right. And then please use the hashtags. Yeah. And then... Lastly, we have a special gift for you. Um, if you can jump into this link, bit.ly dash i slash canva ph dash teacher survey. If you can answer the survey for us really quick, I'll give you two minutes. Um, we'll email you a special gift in, if not later today, tomorrow. So I'll give you one minute or actually two minutes to answer that. Timer starts now. Yeah. Bit.ly slash Canva PH dash teacher survey. Yeah. Medyo matagal pala yung two minutes. Ano, kailangan kong dumaldal dito. So, ayun po. Um, this survey is really just about, it's us getting to know you. So, it's what do you teach? Where do you teach? Um, and if you follow us already, and then we'll send you a special gift later today or tomorrow via email if you do give us your information. Hindi po ito yung registration. Um, wag po sana kayo malito. Ayan. We'll still continue the webinar whether or not you answer the survey, but we'll be so happy if you do. Ayan. Almost one minute left. Answers lang po. No right answers, no wrong answers. 
it's just a survey teachers ayan okay um all right last one minute Forty five seconds. So nakikita nyo po yung counter sa screen ko. That's another feature of Canva that you get for free if you apply for Canva for Education. So the little timer when you use Canva to present your um slides. Cool. Tapos meron tayong rubber ducky na lumulutang lutang jan. Okay. Last twenty seconds. Ten seconds, yan. Two, one, zero. Okay, thank you so much. Let me X this. Ayan. So thank you for answering the survey. You can still answer it later. Just take note of the link. Ganyan po. Um, a couple more things. Outputs. Uh, Diniscuss na po ni Sir Match and Sir Ariel yan, but we'll be happy if you can share a worksheet or a presentation or a video um, out of the modules um, today. Ganyan. So join the Handbook for Filipino Teachers. And um, if you have any more questions, shoot us an email, join the community. Let's talk there. That's all. Thank you, Paul. That's it for me. Wow, thank you, Ma'am Gladys, for uh, introducing Canva to our uh, educators. Sobrang bait ng Canva para sa atin, no? Thank you so much, Ariel. May, uh, may, may pa-free na community, sir. So, uh, nagsagot ka ba, Sir Ariel, ng survey? Hindi ako nakahabol. <laughs> Ayan na. <laughs> Ako, nakahabol ako. Sir, ama, mga mga gladis, ha? Itabi mo na yan. Joke. Oh. <laughs> maganda yung, ano, maganda yung panibagong feature na may timer, ha? Ang ganda yeah. na. Okay. I like it, I like it. It's cool. Even, sirs, yung confetti na ginamit ko kanina, it's, an, it's a feature um, using the presentation then. So, may mga shortcut list tayo dyan. Wow. Nice, nice, wow. nice. Yung, 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 yung hands-on yan later ay i-discuss ng ating mga speakers. So, yes. ayan na. So, exciting ito. Thank you, Ma'am Gladys. Let's Thank call you. our next um, presenter. Andiyan na ba si Ma'am um, Che? Uh, sino ba? <laughs> sino tinatawag ko? <laughs> Ang ating next presenter ay si Ma'am Che. Hello, Ma'am Che. Ma'am Che. Hi, Ma'am Che. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Uh, thank you, Gladys, for that and insightful intro to Canva. Um, para sa mga katulad ni Sir Ariel na hindi pa tapos mag-survey, uh, <laughs> <laughs> pwede nyo i-minimize muna kasi sabi nila para jump pack nga itong um, session natin this morning. Um, yeah, siguro if you wanna... Uh, yeah. A little bit, get water. Um, magsa start na tayo sa mga parang hands-on exercises. Yes, ito ay illustration na, no, ma'am? No? Uh, so, ba Canva basics and pro tips. Yay! Wow. So, let's let's do it. Sir Madge, makisabay tayo, ah. Kahit alam kong expert ka na yeah. sa Canva. Hindi <laughs> 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 naman, sa kulang. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye, Ma'am Che. See you later. See ya. See you, ma Thank you. Okay, so, um, sige, stretch, stretch muna tayo. Um, you, I can siguro give you a few seconds or a minute to set up your workstations, your laptops. If you need to stretch, get water, uh, go ahead. Um, siguro while you're doing that, um, let me introduce myself. Um, I am Che. I am a one of the creative leads for Canvas brand team. Um, so my day usually revolves around illustration. So as they mentioned, but for today, um, I'll talk to you about some 
Canva basics and pro tips that you may or may not know yet. So if you already know it, uh, okay, it's a refresher. But if not, uh, it's a good intro for everyone. Um, sige. So, siguro while everyone's still getting ready, uh, mag-recap lang ako ng uh, things that I'll talk about today. Um, so today you'll learn some a few of our keyboard shortcuts para mas uh, mapabilis yung pag-design niya sa Canva. And then, um, I'll teach you some tricks on how to find the right elements. Um, and also, at the same time, find the right photos. And then, um, I'll run you through how to use our charts sa Canva. So, very useful for um, teaching guides or presentations. And then, um, siguro, I'll feature also some of my personal favorites sa Canva apps. Parang um, explore that side of our um, app. Uh, okay, so, siguro... When you're ready, um, medyo mahaba yung list natin of things to do. So if it's easier for some to learn as they go, I encourage you guys to open up your own design and follow me as I go. So go to canva.com. Um, for most of you, your page might look like this one, wherein yung um, create a design is right below your name. So go ahead and click that one, create a design. Um, but for some of you, it might look like this one. So, ganito yung itura, itura ng homepage ko. Um, go ahead and click create a design on the upper right-hand corner or upper left-hand corner of your screen. And then, um, click siguro presentation for the purpose of this exercise. Uh, so ngayon, if you're following me, um, nakapagbukas na kayo ng uh, sarili yung presentation. And then, so you'll see um, if you have, siguro, hang on, kung meron kayong, yung nakikita nyo ngayon, if you just open the presentation, is what we call an editor. Uh, sa editor natin, um, you'll see a blank page. So, siguro balik tayo dun sa uh, presentation ko. Itong nakikita nyo ngayon, itong buong page na to with this uh, design is what we call an editor. Um, and then, sa editor, you see sa upper left-hand file, view, uh, resize. Um, and then, in this side, you have the option to rename your uh, design. So, it's good for organization purposes. <laughs> so, for this one, I renamed it C for E workshop. Um, and then, you can just go ahead and double-click that if you want to edit it. Say Canva for education. Um, and then, if you see this thing, this page here is what we call uh, a page. Um, and then, sa page, merong, you can change the title. And then, you'll see icons here um, just right above on the upper right. Um, hand side of the page, merong add presenter notes, and then there's this copy page and uh, trash, and then add the page. So, yung copy page, what it does is basically just copy the whole layout of the page that you duplicated. Um, so, I'll delete that. And then the add page basically just adds um, another page right after it. Um, with or without the image um, or the layout on that specific page. Okay, so that was just a quick run through of our editor. Uh, just for everyone's sake, this is the whole page where we have our tools is what we call the editor. Um, so if everyone's ready, I'll go ahead and jump in to the first um, lesson on our um, agenda, uh, which is keyboard shortcuts. So really easy, really quick. Um, the first lesson is to create a text box. So once you're on the page where you want to create your text box, you can go ahead and just click T. So whether you're using Mac or Windows, um, you can just click T. Tapos um, lalabas kagad yung text box in the middle. Um, so, meron siyang placeholder na kasulat, your paragraph text. Yan. So, what we can do is 
as soon as you click the you can double click that text box so pag din double click niyo siya nakikita niyo um na highlight yung text sa loob ng text box so if you double click uh ma highlight lahat and then um you can go ahead and edit that to the text that you want to put so siguro sa akin have a nice day so the good thing about this text box is na edit niyo din po yung font nung text na sinulat niyo so um if you look at yung toolbar sa may top side ng editor uh, makita niyo may um font list of fonts if you click um yung uh, font sa may upper toolbar uh, so you can go ahead and siguro choose a font that you like uh, siguro itong script font para cute uh, yeah so nabago yung font na tinype ko and then you can actually change the font size uh, right beside that font merong number kayong makikita so yun yung font size ng text nyo so right now naka 40 siya so maybe kaya nating i-raise up to 100 ayan so medyo malaki ano so if you see the text box uh, meron po tayong makitang parang mga knobs uh, dun sa corner ng text box um, kaya natin siyang i-adjust if i-click natin and then drag. Uh, so, if I drag it, makita nyo po na nag adjust yung text. Uh, ayan. So, go ahead and just um, play with it on your slide. Um, dun sa toolbar, marami pa po kayong options na ma makikita to change your uh, settings sa font. Uh, may option to change your spacing. Uh, ito pong arrow and lines malapit sa effects uh, so what this does is um kaya yung e, e adjust yung line height and then yung letter spacing so yung line height is basically um yung space sa gitna ng bawat uh, word or bawat sentence so say bawasan ko to ng content 1.3 so yun lumiit po yung yung text ko text space ko um ayun uh i feel like uh, kaya nat we can play with it uh, as we go along pero marami pa tayong cool tricks so if for example um na stuck kayo sa pagpili ng font uh meron po tayong um preset na font pairing so if you look at our left hand side sa may objects panel you'll see templates styles uh photos elements text uh go ahead and click text so ayan once you click text makita nyo po maraming um font pairings uh that were um thoughtfully done by our amazing designers at canva so um mar iba iba yung style niya depending on um your use so kung gusto mong gumawa ng posters um Valentine's Day cards, uh, Christmas cards, uh, marami pong magandang font pairings. Nandito pati pang Halloween, <laughs> meron din siya. Um, ayun, so pang menu, meron din. So naka-set up na siya for you. So siguro if you just click one uh, that catches your attention, let's say, ano ba yung gusto kong pilihan? Let's say for, my, for the purpose of this exercise, gusto kong magsulat ng quote. Um, pipili ako ng magandang font na may malaking may pairing ng malaking sans font and then malaking font and then small font for the um, for the name of the person who said the quote uh, so sige let's I'll choose this one so go ahead and choose yung gusto nyong font pairing if you click right on the font pair it it automatically drops it in the middle of your page so um, if you move it around, may kita nyo naka, naka group siya. Uh, later on, I'll teach you how to group and ungroup. But for now, sige. Uh, I'll teach you how to edit the, the font pair that was set up for you. So, siguro for this one, since I wanna write a quote, uh, go ahead and double click yung text box. And what that does is it highlights the text inside that text box, uh, so that you can edit. Um, so let's say I'll put put a quote that says every problem is a solution in disguise 
So this was said by a very wise woman at Cadva and a very influential leader. <laughs> so um, for now, uh, so as you see, you can actually edit the font that na pinner for you, um, and then nag stay yung um, font that was chosen. So you can edit the text, pero hindi nagbabago yung font that was chosen for you. Ah, uh, okay. Sige. Um, we can move on to the next one. So let's say, sige, keep your font pairing. Uh, let's say you have that font pair. Uh, okay ka na dun sa quote mo or dun sa card mo, sa message mo. But you want to add a couple of um, shapes really quick. Uh, so yung shapes natin, you can see them all in the elements tab sa left-hand side. But it will take a few more steps. Meron tayong shortcuts to uh, produce these uh, simple shapes in one click. So if you want to add a line on your design, say, kunwari, okay, nakagawa na ako ng quote, gusto ko siya going Instagram post, lalagyan ko ng few elements around it. Um, go ahead and click, uh, press L on your keyboard. So what that does is it uh, automatically puts uh, line in the middle of your design. So, nakapag-produce nakapag ka ng line in one click. So, simil similar to a text box, uh, you'll see may mga knobs dun sa edges ng shape. Um, you can also resize that um, shape that you produced. So, sige, I'll make two. You can make as many as you want. Just cl <laughs> keep, keep clicking, um, pressing the the, the letter L on your keyboard. So, ayan, ako uh, solve na sa dalawa. Um, but, say, gusto kong gumawa ng rectangle. Uh, ayoko naman ng line. Um, you can click, uh, press the letter R on your keyboard and it automatically produces a rectangle. So, ito, yung ginagalaw ko right now. Um, so, similar to the line and your text boxes, may mga knobs din siya at the corners of the shape. So you are free to resize that to whichever shape that you want. So from a rectangle, pwede siyang maging square. So really convenient kasi uh, you can transform the shape that you produced in one click to any shape that you like. Um, so now I have two lines and then I have a, a rectangle that I transformed into a square. Pero hindi pa ako, um, hindi pa ako masaya. <laughs> gusto ko padagdagan ng isa pang basic shape. Um, gusto ko magdagdag ng circle. So I can just do that as easy as pressing C on my keyboard. So it automatically produces a circle. Parang ganyan. That I can just easily add to my composition. Ayan. So you can play with it a little bit more. Um, these are just the basic shapes. Uh, I'll show you in a bit later on how you can um, look for, excuse me, the other elements available on our elements tab. Okay, sige. Um, let's move on. Uh, okay, copy paste style. So before natuto tayo kung paano mag uh, gumawa ng text box, which is pressing T on our keyboards. And then, tuto tayo paano mag-add ng shapes, uh, which is pressing L for line, R for rectangle, C for circle. Ngayon naman, say, parang natuwa na tayo sa kaka-add ng design. Marami na tayong pages, marami tayong text boxes. Tapos, gusto nyo ng mabilis ang way on how to um, change style. Meaning, kunwari, meron akong text dito that says, Hello, friends. Tapos, yung font niya ay school bell. Tapos meron akong font that says by friends. Tapos iba yung font niya from the previous one. Tapos gusto ko siyang gawing pareho. What I can do is click on select the text. And then for Mac users, press command option C to copy the style. And then for Windows users, press control alt C to copy the style. Uh, that means that you're copying the font and the font size. Um, 
And then if you want to paste it to another text box, um, select the text box that you want to change. And then for Mac users, press Command Option V to paste that style in. So nakita nyo nagbago yung um, font kaagad just by copy pasting. So for Windows users, to paste the style, press Control Alt and then V. And so if you have questions, concerns um, while I'm going through this, feel free to leave comments on uh, the comment section. And so the copy paste style doesn't just work on text boxes, it also works on uh, elements. So say gusto ko mabilis ang mag-paste ng color so hindi ko na siya babaguhin dun sa color tab sa editor. So gusto kong going purple tong uh, ship. Uh, what I do is repeat the same process. I select the element that I want to copy the color from. So for Mac users, press Command Option C. For Windows users, press Control Alt and then C. Sorry, Sami, nagu webinar ni. Sorry, aso ko yon. <laughs> okay, lang ka. Okay, so. Asa na? Okay, so uh, na copy ko na yung uh, style for this element. Uh, gusto ko ng i paste sa element na to. Uh, so I press for um, Mac users command option V. Yan, so nabago yung color. And then since tatlong e separate elements to, I'll select this other element and then this other element to paste the style. So in a similar way for Windows users to paste the style, press Control, Alt, and then V. Ayan. So, um, really simple, just copy and copy, really selecting the element and then copy and pasting it to the element that you want to change. Okay. Um, sige. We should maybe just set aside these text boxes and elements for a bit. Uh, let's move on to duplicating these elements. So let's say, nakagawa na kayo ng maraming hearts and ng ships, and then <clears throat> gusto nyong i-duplicate it pa throughout the whole page. So instead of uh, pressing a lot of keys at the same time, like command Control c and then command Control v what you can do is simply um, hold the option uh, hold the key option key for Mac users and then for window users hold the key the alt key and then while you're holding that select the element that you want to duplicate and then simply drag it so ayan. so if you're looking at my screen I am making paw prints dahil mahilig maglakad yung aso ko around my room and May lig siyang sumala sa mga meetings. Ayan. So I'm making pop prints across the page. Um, so it's as easy as click, uh, holding one key and then clicking and dragging the element that you want to copy. So you don't have to keep copy pasting things. Uh, and then this way then kasi mas control nyo where you want to place the element that you're duplicating. Okay. So as you can see, it's so easy to get um to get carried away with duplicating a lot of things. Before you know it, um, marami na kayong elements on your design. <laughs> um, and then once you have a lot of elements, they tend to um pile up on top of each other. So uh, you can imagine them being on different layers. So some. Some elements are at the bottom, some elements are in the middle, and then some are at the very top of your design. So there's also a shortcut para you can easily arrange your elements, send some at the back, send some in front para um, mas organized. Um, so I'll teach you a few things, um, but first of all, I'll kind of discuss siguro what the difference is between putting something backward and then bringing it back or front. So like I said, like pag marami ka ng elements on your uh, design, 
it tends to pile up. So if you imagine them being in different layers, um, sending it backward means putting it one layer back and then another layer back. Uh, sending it forward means putting it one layer above and then another layer above. But if you want to skip all those layers and you want to automatically bring something to the very back of your design, um, it means bring to back. And then if you want uh, to bring something at the forefront of your design as in top layer, it means bring to front. So how do we do that? Um, if you want to bring something backward for Mac users, press select the element that you want to bring backward. So siguro for me, it's this uh, red dot na nasa pinaka taas. So I'll put it in the middle para mas madaling makita. Um, select the element and then for Mac users, press hold command and then press open bracket. So as you can see, when I pressed it once, napunta siya sa likod ng leaf and then I'll press it again, mapupunta siya sa likod ng blob shape. So it uh, puts it one layer uh, below. Um, and then for Windows users, it's the same thing, except instead of command, you press control. So let's say I want to bring that uh, shape forward. So may kita nyo naka-select pa siya kasi kita pa natin yung knobs um, around it. Um, if I want to bring it forward, it's the same process, except instead of a an open bracket, you press the close bracket. So holding command or control, and then press open bracket to bring it up once, and then another open bracket to bring it up a second time. And so let's say I don't want to go through all the layers kasi marami na akong patong-patong na elements, and I just automatically want to bring this pink dot sa likod at the back of my design. So again, select that element, and then bring to back is command or control, uh, option or alt, and then open bracket. Ayan. So if you can see it automatically disappeared, that just means it's right behind this blob already. So nasa likod na siya nung um, elements ko. Um, and then let's say I want to bring it back. Ayoko nang, I, I don't want it to pass through the middle elements. Gusto ko automatically nasa forefront siya ng design ko. It's the same process. Command or control, option or alt, and then close bracket. So in one click, nasa top na kagad siya nung layers ko. Uh, it's that easy. Uh, so it helps so you don't um, lose some of your elements. Uh, especially after yung mag-duplicate or mag-design as you create your composition on your page. Um, so let's say satisfied na tayo with um, the layering, the positioning, the composition of all your elements. Uh, gusto na natin tong uh, arrangement na to. Um, what you can do actually is to group those elements. So um, if you're following my screen, uh, or right now, if you're looking at um, all the elements on your screen, the shapes that you um, did a while ago, yung line, rectangle, circle, the text boxes, if you click them individually, meron siyang sariling box around it, may mga sarili siyang knobs. So that just means um, separated siya from the other elements. It's its own thing. So you can freely move it around. Ooh, may doble. You can freely move it around. Um, but so if you don't want each element to move around, just you want to move it as a whole thing, what you can do is to just select everything. So drag, click and drag to select everything. Uh, and then press Command G for Mac and then Control G for Windows. So what that does is it actually groups everything together. So now if you click on that and move it around and then um, click and drag the element and scale it, um, it moves as one thing. So, mas madali. Um, but say, for example, um, nagbago isip natin, gusto natin i-ungroup. Gusto kong i-edit yung isang element, gusto ko siyang tanggalin or i-delete. Um, to undo the grouping, uh, just press Shift, Command G for Mac. And then shift control G for Windows. So if I do that now, you'll see that each of the elements has its own binding box. So yung teal 
around teal lines around the elements. So it's its own thing again. Pwede ko na naman siyang i-move around um, and they add it on its own. Um, locking element. So let's say, okay, tapos na tayo sa pag edit Gusto natin siyang nakagroup. Um, <clears throat> and then you're sharing your Canva design to other people, but you don't want them to touch this specific um, design or specific element kasi pinaghirapan natin siyang i-group on group and put to back, kanyan, i-edit. So what you can do is actually lock that lock that element. So if you're looking at your toolbar, itong white thing uh, above your page, so merong kang color on the left side, and then you have group, position, um, copy style, transparency, link, and then you see this padlock, um, just click it. And then what that does is see na wala lahat ng um, edit style dito sa toolbar mo. What just look, what just appears is yung locked na icon. So hindi nila yan magagalaw um, on your design. Um, if you want to unlock it, just simply click that um, padlock icon again. Ayan, so na unlock na ulit siya. Pwede na ulit siya edit Right? Ayan. So, sige, before I move on, if you want to screenshot some things, go ahead. Uh, if you have any questions, clarifications, tech issues, uh, leave a comment on the comment section. All right. So, um, that's pretty much it for um, keyboard shortcuts. It's quite a lot, but um, if you want, you can just... Um, Leave some questions in the comment section if may, if I missed anything. If meron kayong gustong malaman, we can answer it for you. Um, but for now, uh, we'll move on to finding the right elements. So what does it mean when you say elements, right? So um, everything aside from this text box that you see on this page with its own binding box, meaning the teal box around it, is considered an element. So the illustrations, the stickers, the GIFs, um, that's an element. Um, so how do we exactly find them on our editor or on Canva? Okay. So um, in simple ways, um, you can search for a keyword. So uh, if you look at the objects panel on your left, the black bar on your left side, uh, you'll see templates, styles, photos, and elements. Go ahead and click elements. So marami tayo may kitang um, categories like recently used features, featured grids, shapes, frames, stickers, charts, etc. Um, what you can do is if you're not familiar with it yet, there's a search bar right above it. So you can just type any keywords that you want. Say, I want to look for an apple. I type apple. So if you search apple, all kinds of apple are gonna Apples are gonna come up on your search results. So iba iba like even the Apple logo, um, a pattern, different colors. But let's say you want to look for a very specific one um, to save time and just you just want a red apple. So you can actually search Apple and then plus sign and then red or the color of your choosing um, and then press enter. So as you can see on my screen, uh, when I put apple plus red, may mga lumabas na red apples. Um, so if you use the plus sign, what in uh, what this does is it shows you all apples that are red, but also at the same time, um, it's a wider search because it shows you some apples that are not red, but are still apples, and then some things that are red but are not technically apples. Sorry, hold on. Apple plus red. And so you can search for other things. So as you search for your object plus a color, just go ahead and choose one. Maybe I like this one. It's a really cute apple. Um, so if 
as you can see, as you choose elements, they're also editable. So which means that you can change their colors. So if you right beside that search panel, you can see different colors that you can change. So if you click those, you're able to choose the color that you want and automatically changes to that color. Um, but right back to the elements page, let's say I want to search for a different thing. I want to search for a yellow flower. So I, I type flower plus the color that I want, which is yellow. So as you can see, it produces a lot of um, yellow flower elements on the search results. Um, Medyo maraming choices. So if you want, you can just browse through them and choose the one that you like or the one that appeals to you the most. Maybe I'll choose this one. Or a couple more. Maybe this one also. So just like the apple, they're also editable in color, which um, you can also edit um, on the color panel near the search bar. Um, still on the topic of elements um, and searching for the right ones, if you want a more narrowed search, a more specific search, um, instead of using the plus sign, you can actually put um, keywords in quotation marks. So what this does, it, it searches for um, exactly that phrase on our library. So if I put red apple, it only it's only supposed to show you uh, apples that are red. And then, so let's choose one. I'll choose the same thing here. And then let's say, yellow flower it's only supposed to show you yellow flowers so i'll choose we saw stickers for fun i am so to choose elements you can just simply like uh, click on them and then it'll appear um in the middle of your page and then like just like that and then you're free to move them around resize them and then edit them as you uh, want them to look like on your design. All right, so um, once you've got the searching covered, the narrowed search covered, um, there's another tip, <clears throat> excuse me, to look for similar elements. So siguro, um, when we're more concerned with like branding or consistency of the whole look of our design, um, we want the illustrations or the style to look the, the same all throughout our design right so i'll give you an example say i want to look for filipino elements so i go to elements i search for filipino and then i see all of these um beautiful illustrations um but say i'm making something for a filipiniana event um i choose this one and then you'll see on my search bar uh, on the search results that there's not enough parang elements that kind of look similar to this. So what you can do is um, hover on that element. So you'll see, as you hover on the element, you'll see uh, three dots on the upper right side of the elements. And then uh, I want you to go ahead and click that. So if you click the three dots, you'll see the name of the element and then the keywords um, attached to it. And then right below the, the name of the element, this says Flores de Mayo Filipino Festival. So right below it, you'll see view more by the artist. So in this case, it's Canva PH. So that's actually clickable. So I want you to go ahead and click that one. So if you click that, you will see all of the elements and illustrations done by this specific artist, or in this case, Canva PH. So these are all the elements done um, by Canva PH. Go ahead and maybe choose your favorite ones. Namin namin cute stickers like Char and Kilig. Um, oh, we also have Kiapo. Uh, there. Sabi ko nga pala Filipiniana. Sorry. Ayan. So, marami pang um maraming choices ng dresses um uh, to choose from so um this didn't automatically appear when i initially searched for filipino um but when i looked at the brand or the artist that did 
the illustrations, mas maraming choices because they're usually done in sets. And if it's done by the similar artist, um, it's easier for your design to look consistent and on brand. So, and may tao pa. <laughs> so you can actually play dress, dress up and practice the put to back, send to back um, shortcuts that you tried a while ago. Hi. And so, siguro, once you're satisfied with um, all the elements that you chose, just put it on the side. Um, another thing that I briefly mentioned a while ago is changing its color. So, siguro, um, once you have, uh, say, for example, itong char and itong kaya po. So, siguro, once you have all your chosen elements dun sa uh, design nyo, another tip to make it look consistent is to have um, one color palette for your design. So, for this one, siguro, uh, hang on. I want the colors to be red, blue, and yellow for Philippine colors. So, yung char is already in that color. What I have to do is now change Kiapo. Um, so, if you see dun sa may near the, on your toolbar, on the upper left hand of your toolbar, if you close your elements tab, um, you'll see different colors in sort of a palette format. So, select the element that you want to edit and then select the, click the color that you want to change. So, for this one, it's the blacks. Uh, on this element. So maybe I want to change it to dark blue. Um, not that noticeable, but if you can see, wala nang black dun sa element na I ri originally chose. And then if I click that element and then choose again, I want to change the second color to maybe, um, what's good? Maybe a purple. Yeah, so as you can see, yung blue before, uh, and the original element changed to purple now. And then I want to change the background color, which is teal at the moment, to, I don't know, maybe I want to make it white. Yeah, and so parang naging white na siya, na wala yung teal. Um, maybe red. Yeah. And then yellow, I want to keep as yellow because it fits my palette. So as you can see now, mas parang in line or consistent yung look ng kiapo and char even if they're technically kind of um, started as different color palettes. Uh, yeah. So, ayun, that pretty much sums up um, element, uh, our run through with our lesson for elements. Um, if you could just set, a, set that aside, maybe you can play around with it a little bit more later. Or if you have any questions, again, just feel free to leave some comments on our comment section. Okay, so we're moving on to finding the right photos um, on our uh, library. So similar to elements, you can find photos on our objects panel. So it's third after templates, styles, you see photos. Uh, go ahead and click that one. So a quick run through, you'll see different categories, food, summer, computer, money, beach. Uh, you have recently used if you've um, searched through photos before. And then uh, immediately it shows you trending photos in our library. Um, yeah. So similar to elements, say, for example, nakakita ko ng, I want to make a catalog or a magazine or something. And I see a really nice photo that I like. See, I like this one. I like how it looks. Uh, warm, happy, uh, authentic. Yeah. So I like how this photographer did his photos. So I want to search for more photos like this one. Uh, also for consistency and then para it's easier to look for similar photos. Um, hover, hover on the photo that you want to um, search for. And then you'll see three dots right above on the top right corner of that photo. Um, go ahead and click that one. So similar to elements, it has a drop down of like the name of the photo and then right below it is view more by this photographer or artist. So it says um, this guy from Getty Images Pro. So 
So I'll go ahead and click that one. So Im immediately you'll see um, a range of photos done by this person. Um, so you can go ahead and select that one. And that one. So the vibe is looking kind of the same, right? Um, so sometimes if um, this is a really good photographer, an established one, marami ka nang makikitang um, photos on this person's um, list. So, excuse me. So let's say um, you want to look for a specific photo done by this specific artist. Okay, so what you what you what you can do is um, go ahead to the search panel. So you'll see brand, colon, and then this code. So don't touch it. I want you to <laughs> press your cursor. Come in, Sammy. I want you to press your. Um, go ahead and press the. Uh, um, go to the end of that code and then click space. And then um, I want you to type a phrase. So if you remember dun sa elements um, tips that I ran through a while ago, you can search for a specific thing by putting, by either adding a plus sign or putting them in quotation marks. So in this case, we're putting a phrase right beside the brand. So let's say in this person's um, list of photos, I want to search for uh, office. So I'll put that in quotation marks and then as I press enter, hopefully, man. Ayon. So, um, what that does is lahat to office shots done by this person. So you're able to filter through um, similar photos done by a specific photographer with a specific theme or content. Um, so it's really useful if you're creating uh, design with multiple images, um, and if you want to keep the style consistent. And uh, at the same time, um, be mindful of the content that you're putting in. And so a lot of, um, there are a lot of artists to choose from and th that depends on the design that you're um, putting depending on uh, if whether you're searching for office or say classroom. Um, yeah, and so marami rin siyang classroom photos. So, uh, it really depends on you. Uh, just remember that if you're, uh, again, a quick run through, if you like the style of a specific photographer, uh, click the three dots as you hover through the page. Um, click the name of the artist or the photographer right below the, na the name of the photo. And then, as you see, in the search bar, there's a brand code. Um, create another um, space after it and then insert the phrase that you want to search for hey yeah and then automatically lalabas lahat ng similar content in the same style for that artist all right um so enough about um searching for um similar photos uh, another tip is to actually search for cutout photos so what this means is uh, photos without backgrounds so we actually have that on canva you don't um you wouldn't need to step out of the platform and then remove the backgrounds yourself yourselves because it might actually exist within the library so let's say you want to add a pen no walang background uh just put pen space um plus cut out um colon through so immediately dun sa search results, you see all of these different pens na walang background. Uh, go ahead and click one that you like. Uh, so siguro okay to for reminders for students not to leave their pens. Uh, set an example, may blue pen. I think may red, yeah, may red. May red pen. So if you, as you can see, ano siya, wala siyang background. So even if I put it on white or in colored background, um, walang, um, solid shape behind it. Ayun. So not just pens, so maybe similar to the Apple element that we searched for a while ago, you want to see 
a legit photo of an apple pero walang background. So the same thing, apple space plus cut cut out colon through. So dun sa search results, immediately you see different types of apples, <clears throat> excuse me, na walang background. So zero choosing one, I like this one. And so similar to the pens, if you move it around, whether on white or colored background, um, it works. And so, sige, gawin natin yung same example. Flower, space plus cut out, colon through. Uh, you see different types of flowers na walang background. Works the same way as the pen and the apple. All right. Um, that was quite a lot for elements and photos. Um, so, siguro, a quick recap if you weren't able to follow with me um some searching exercises uh for us so i want you to search for your favorite so search for a photo of your favorite place number one and then number two an illustration of an object in your favorite color so this exercise is about adding plus or putting the um keywords in quotation marks and then Search for sticker for your favorite holiday and then uploading your own photo. All right, so sige, I'll do this with you so you can kind of see, um, review na rin how to do these things. So photo of your favorite place. So if you go to uh, photos um, tab on the objects panel, um, you'll see again the list of photos that um, are on trending. And then I'll search for maybe, a coffee shop. Hindi ko siya ng quotation marks because I'm not looking for anything very, very specific. So I like coffee shops uh, in general. So maybe like this cute um, table here. So go ahead and select um, a photo that you like. Just put it on the side. Lay it out if you want. It's totally up to you if you want to be a little bit more creative. Um, and then searching for once you've selected the photo of your favorite place, um, search for an illustration of an object in your favorite color. So dito papasok yung plus and phrases natin kanina. So from photos right below it, you can go to elements and then um, just clear your search. If merong natirang search dun sa, if na, may natirang words dun sa search bar nyo, clear it, delete it. Um, so favorite object. So let's say I want, Again, a flower. Hindi ako naubusan ng, ng examples. Mahilig na talaga ako sa flowers. <laughs> so, let's see. A uh, flower in my favorite color. I want it um, blue. So, flower plus blue. Hey, okay. yeah. So, immediately, may lalabas na maraming um, blue flowers. Huh, this is cute. Like this one. There you go. So once you've selected that, go ahead and click it. Again, um, if you click something from the objects panel, it drops right smack in the middle of your design. Uh, just go ahead and resize, um, move it to the side if you want, lay it out if you want. So um, there. Uh, once you've selected a, an object from the elements tab, I want you to search for a sticker for your favorite holiday. So just to recap, these are the stickers. So if you go to elements, scroll down a little bit, um, meron tayong stickers tab. It's basically illustrated elements na GIFs. So stickers and then see all. And so you'll be able to see all of the um, sticker elements that we have. So you can either scroll through these um, stickers and then just en enjoy choosing um the cutest one for you um but if um since for the for the since we're kind of um for the purpose of this exercise i'm gonna go ahead and search on the search bar um a holiday maybe christmas and then space sticker so if you want to search for something um search for the keyword space add and then the word sticker. What that does is it's supposed to show you all of the stickers na related to the keyword that you put. So for me, Christmas. 
um really good for christmas cards the digital because they're moving and they're really cute okay i'm just gonna choose my favorite one siguro itong merry christmas na gif and so similar to the other elements um if you click it it adds it right smack in the middle of your design so just resize relay out um depending on your taste and I think we can <laughs> spend all day checking stickers because they're all really, really, really cute. Um, but another um, helpful thing that we can do, say, wala kayong ninyo mahanap yung photos that you're looking for or you just want to add a personal touch to your design or like it's going to be a personal card that's gusto nyo, uh, may picture nyo, may picture ng family nyo, you can actually upload your own. So, Similar to elements and photos on your objects panel, there's an upload tab. Ayan. So, sa uploads, um, hang on, sorry. Low bat na ang aking AirPods. Give me a sec. Hello? Okay. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Cool. Okay, again. So we're almost done, don't worry. Um what I was saying was you can actually upload your own photos. So say hindi niyo mahanap sa photos, sa elements yung gusto niyo, or you just want to add a personal touch. Um Am I back? Am I back? Okay. Okay, sorry. I'll disconnect the whole again. So <laughs> if you want to add the personal touch and add your own photos, you can simply um upload your own um photos on the upload tab. So just simply drag your photos. And then it's automatically gonna upload on your tab. So this is Sammy. Siya yung nag-iingay kanina pa. Um, I'm gonna show you his face para malaman nyo bakit uh, sino yung nangi-istorbo sa FB Live. Um, yan. So just wait for it to upload. And then as soon as it's done, you can click on it similar to any photo or element. And then it'll automatically add your design. Ayan. Don't worry if you don't have any um, photos um, ready. You can try the upload um, panel later. Um, for now, siguro, I guess what's super useful to everyone right now would be the charts. I'll show you how to um, use them. So we've gone through photos, elements, and uploads. Now we can go through charts. So right below uploads, there should be charts. And so if you click through charts on your um, objects panel, you'll see different types of charts. So merong bar graphs, uh, line graphs, pie charts. Uh, for the purpose of this exercise, siguro I'll choose a bar graph. And so nag appear siya right in the middle of my design. So similar to any element, you can just resize that by drag, selecting and dragging the, um, clicking and dragging um, the knobs on the edges of the element. So as soon as I've added it, you'll see on my left side na merong um, data. So item one, item two, ganyan. Uh, you can actually edit this here. So let's say Monday, Tuesday, etc. cetera. So um, as you edit this part of the chart, you'll see dun sa bottom nung nagbabago siya dun sa um, chart na nilagay mo on your design. So you can actually even play with the numbers. So let's say someone day gagawin ko siyang 60. So yan, tumaas siya. 
um, really easy. Um, but if say marami na kayong data and you just want to copy paste everything, you don't have time to um, na edit to isa isa. Um, I happen to have a sheet in handy. So let's say this is just a sample sheet. This is not true. <laughs> uh, let's say mayroong attendance sheet. And so mahaba na marami na students, marami ng days. Um, simply copy the cells that you want to make a chart from. And then, so select copy, um, command C for Mac. And then what you can do is right below this data set, merong paste data from spreadsheet here at the bottom. So as after copying from your sheet, just press command V for Mac, and then it automatically copies your data from an Excel sheet. Super handy, especially if marami na kayong data. Um, uh, like for aesthetic purposes so we've gone through like after you've put all the data that you need um on your chart and then na lahat automatically after pasting um you can also change the colors so similar to editing colors on your elements nandito lang siya on your upper left you can change it to say philippine colors blue red and then yellow hi yellow Red. And so bagay na siya dun sa char and um kubao element ko. And so aside from the colors, you can even edit the text size. So nalalakihan na ko dun sa 19, I can make it 12 instead. And then ayo kung masyado siyang makita. So I can change the color of the text. So right beside the text size, there's an A with kind of like a color range uh, below it. So I could just select siguro a gray. So automatically, as you see, dun sa chart ko nagiging gray lahat ng text boxes ko. Ayan. So now we're ready for uh, presenting all of our data. Um, okay, nasama. So aside from charts, a really cool thing would be our Canva apps. So um, if you scroll through your objects panel right uh, below sa pinakababa, uh, merong three dots na sulat more. So I want you to go ahead and click that one. And then you'll see apps and integrations. So meron tayong Pexos, Pixabay, Embeds, Emoji, Facebook, Jiffy, etc. So we have actually a lot that you're free to kind of explore in your own time. But for now, siguro, I'll go through emojis. So if you click through emoji, you'll see a long list of um, emojis. Uh, emoji elements that you're free to use on your design. So I'll uh, choose this one, and then just like any element, editable rin yung color niya here on this side. And then, siguro, um, once you're done choosing the right elements for you, I'll look at the editable ones. Um, go ahead and go back to the three dots dun sa object panel um, because there are actually cooler GIFs. So, Press more and then press Jiffy. So, mayroon kaming GIF, Jiffy integration. So, if you press Jiffy, lahat ng cool GIFs avail available in Jiffy, you, you can e easily access on your editor. So, maraming um, suggested GIFs here. I'm just going to choose one that I like. We can create something better. Yeah, so it automatically adds it to your design. This GIF na siya kagad. So just like any element, you're free to resize it and then relay it out to your design as you wish. Um, What else? Yeah, I really like this one. It says, go for it. And so it's moving. Um, Unlike the emojis, uh, ito mas... Um, engaging and it's um, moving and it's um, all the GIFs that you can find on Jiffy easily accessible on your left side object panel. All right. So I think another, aside from the cute stuff, there's another useful thing, the last one, um, which is Canva apps. Um, you can actually paste a link, a Google link on your design. So let's say, I have this form in handy. I conveniently have a link to this Google form that I want to paste on my design. So all I have to do is copy the URL here on the on your browser. So uh, highlight that and then select copy. Copy. And then go back to your design. 
select the page where you want to add that um, link. And all you have to do is use the shortcut to paste. So for me, since I'm using Mac, Command V. And so amazing. It immediately adds your um, form to your design. So it's kind of like an element, except it's functioning. So really quickly, I want to show you, like, I think I have to present it. So I want to show you how it's functioning. And so you'll see, this is my cursor. If I click Next, it's a functioning form on my design. So really cool and really handy, especially if you want to add sheets on your design. You can customize the background, customize the, um, add elements around it, add your GIFs. Yes, so that's all of the cool stuff for me. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any questions, I guess, um, again, add them to the comment section. And uh, back to Sir Ariel and Sir Mad. Thank you, Ms. Che. Wow, thank you, Ms. Che. <laughs> yung, yung, thank you, Ma'am Che. Yung last na pinangita ni Ma'am Che, that was actually my question sa ano eh. Yung pala may pa-surprise in the end. <laughs> Galing. So, naging interactive yung slide mo, no? So, hindi lang siya flat na dati naging screenshot pa tayo or naging skipping through tayo ng ating uh, for ang um, kagandahan niya ay talagang pwede mo nang i-tour hindi mo kailangan lumabas pa ng uh, another application or go to your browser para lang ma-tour sila dun sa form so ang galing ng ating uh, feature na yun I love it yes love it. maganda talaga yung presentation thank you ma'am chef for that um, it was actually nice talagang magagamit natin siya and yung mga okay. keyboard mga keyboard shortcut ang galing so talagang uh, mga keyboard shortcut Yes, uh, I, marami nag So if um marami nag request for PDF no eh. Yeah, uh, yes, so yes, no, meron daw isang nakapag, isang form lang. Mm. Yeah, if hindi kayo nakapag screenshot or take notes, um we'll share your presentation dun sa uh, comment section. Nice, nice, nice. Thank you, Ma'am Che. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Ma'am Che. Uh, at saka yung ano, tumatak sa akin doon, uh, Sir Madge, yung problem is a solution in disguise. Yung <laughs> sample na quotation ni Ma'am Che. Tama, tama. Naisulat kaya nila yan? Baka lumabas yan. <laughs> no. uh, baka. <laughs> Let's see. <Baka. laughs> Alright, Ayan, so... so sino na ang ating next na speaker? Yes, Sir Ariel, ang ating next speaker ay ating uh, art director at ang template designer from Canva. And she will uh, share to us about designing educational content with the use of Canva. So let's all welcome Miss um, Thea. Hi, Ma'am Thea. Good morning. So hi, everyone. So do I introduce myself? Hi, Ma'am Thea. So I'm Thea. I'm a a template designer and art director for the templates team in Canva. Yes, yeah. so, so Ma'am Thea, um, yung nakaraang so, yung last session natin with Ma'am She is very interesting and alam natin na uh, mas magiging interesting pa yung Canva with your presentation kasi maraming nang na-excite sa mga pasabog natin dito sa Canva for Education. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Ms. Thea, take it away. We have so more let's than 10,000 10, viewers. Okay, so can you see my screen? Uh, not yet. Ayan. Ayan, it's running. Okay. Hi, so today I will be discussing um, designing educational content, specifically for Canva. So, as I said, ako po si Thea, I'm a designer and I'm an art director for the Templates team. And I'm also part of the education squad. 
So, part po ako ng squad na gumawa ng mga education-specific templates for everyone. And today, I will, uh, siguro masasabi natin, ipagmamayabang ko po sa inyo ang aming education templates. Okay. So, Canva has over 60,000 templates. So, even if you're an education, uh, Canva for Education user, meron pa rin po kayong access to over 60,000 templates. So, it isn't limited to worksheets and presentations and stuff like that. So, congrats on having access to such beautiful template. Okay. So, today I will be discussing our distance education materials. So, if you want more information about our distance education materials, you can check out our website. So, yung presentations po, well, we, we will be sharing these to you later on. So, you can click on the link later on, but then I will show it to you then. So, click on it. Ayan. So, just to go through this page, ayan, meron tayong templates. So, pinapakita niya kung ano yung mga templates meron tayo. We have planners, weekly schedules, posters, presentations. So, a lot of good stuff. And we also have here tips for you guys. And we also have various resources for you. Ayan. So, meron tayong mga blogs also so we have articles here that might interest you teachers click nyo lang po yan and we also have faqs so kanina po nagdiscuss si gladys ng mga faqs but um meron din po tayo here for reference okay so that is the canva.com distance education page so back to my presentation okay so, ang first ko po na i-discuss na template natin is a R is R <laughs> yung presentation templates. Okay. So, alam naman po natin lahat kung ano yung presentation. Ayan. So, with the Canva presentations, you can create informative lectures, you can make personalized handouts or ebooks for your class. And you can also export your presentations as stunning websites. So, I'll show you. So, punta po tayo sa ating homepage. Canva.com. So, everyone will see the same thing. So, ito po yung homepage. And then here, we have the search bar. Yan. Click lang po natin yan. So, Magsa-search po tayo ng presentation. But meron din po tayong presentations that are specific to education. So what you can do is you can type in education presentation. Then it will show up. And then you just click on it. Ayan. So ito na po yung ating mga education presentations. So, ayan, you can scroll through it. Ayan, look for something na interesting sa'yo. So, we have presentations for science, for, ano pa ba? For history, for art. Ayan. So, we have a lot to choose from. So, for my demo, I will choose this one. There. Okay. So, yung presentations po, they come in a set. So, you will see here na meron image na you can apply to your presentation. So, this is the title page. And then, if you want to add more, here, kita po natin tong plus, plus, plus sign. And then, it says add page. And then, you just click on it. So, we have a blank page. So, page just click on it there and then it automatically apply so you have this first page and then you have this second page and then if you want to add more ulitin nyo lang po so lang po add and then ito add ko na po to and then just 
continue doing that. So, I hope hindi naman po ako masyado mabilis and nakaka-follow naman po tayo. So, there, just add pages. Ayan. So, pag nagamit, pag na-add nyo na po yung mga page na gusto nyo, add nyo na po customize So, for this one, uh, I can type it like designing educational content with feeling ko teacher ako. Hehe. <laughs> teacher day. And yan. And then the other pages, you can do the same. You can customize it according to your needs. And then if you're done, you can just add this last page that says thank you. And then as you can see po, yung mga presentations, they also have placeholders here. So you can just change it to whatever. Um, you learned something new today. There. So if you want to share this, uh, so say dito sa and you want to share it to your class, you can share the link of the presentation. So dito po tayo, sa upper right side, next to the title, you can see this box that says share. So i-click-click po natin yan, share. And then, pwede nyo po i-copy yung link. So you just click on this, copy link. And then, that po, wherever nyo po isa-send yung link sa students nyo. And you can also share it as a PDF for your students. So, kunwari, mahirap po yung internet kasi minsan wawala po yung internet ganyan. Kahit offline, pwede po nila ma-access yung lecture ninyo. So, what you wanna do is, dito po sa pinakataas, sa upper right, next to the present button here, there is this small drop-down button na parang arrow pa baba. You just click on that. Yan. And then there are options, there's percent and stuff like that. Now, if you want the PDF, you have to click on this button that says download. So again, upper right, drop down, and then click on download. There. And then you can choose if you want to if you want to download kunare, yung title page lang. You just click on it. Ayan. Pero syempre, that doesn't really make sense. We want to send all the pages. So you click on this, all pages. Ayan, all pages. And then, done. Okay, so PDF standard, all pages, and then click download. Okay, so Canva is preparing my design. There, and then it will show sa inyong downloads. So let's see, click on it, and then there. So you can download the PDF, and this PDF, pwede nyo na po siya isend sa students nyo. Pwede nyo siya i-email, ganyan. So if wala silang internet connection, may access pa rin po sila sa lecture ninyo. Okay, so that was sharing the link, and downloading it as a PDF. So we can also share it as a website actually. So balik po tayo sa upper right button natin, next to present. Click on this drop down thing and then click on website. Okay? So there are different kinds. So presentation, scrolling, classic navigation, and standard. So you can explore that po on your own time. But now, I will be showing you itong scrolling, which I personally think is the best-looking one. So, yun. What you do is, choose nyo lang yung scrolling, and then click on Open Website. Ayan. And then, it automatically presents it to you as a website. So, since scrolling siya, you just scroll down there, and then you see all the pages of your presentation as a website. Yay! <laughs> okay, di ba ang saya? Ayan, it looks so good. Ayan. So, that was presentations.
Next is, uh, going back to my presentation, next is, oh, sorry, to recap. So, I taught you how to download it as a PDF. So, you can make it a handout or as an ebook, and you can also export it as a stunning website. So, our next template is the worksheets template. So, for the worksheets template, po, we have two different kinds of worksheets. So we have the printable worksheet and we have the digital worksheet. So let's go to printable worksheet first. Okay. So printable worksheet. So medyo madali naman po siya magets from what it's called. So basically it's a worksheet that's printable. So with that in mind, nung dinassign po yung printable worksheets, as you can see um, they're mostly white background, so makikita po natin dyan. So, for example, ayan. Ayan, and then, there are also some not my color. So, kung marami po kayong ink, you can choose itong mga colored versions. Pero kung gusto po natin magtipid, pwede rin po siyang purely black and white, like this one. Okay, so that is the printable worksheet. Uh, I also want to discuss yung extendable lines natin for the worksheets. So, for example, this one. Um, ayoko nang isama tong, why is the story significant to you? So, ayoko na siyang isama. I will select it all. Select it and then delete it. So, meron na po ako ngayong empty space dito. So, hindi po siya maganda kasi walang sense. Bakit siya nandyan? So, kailangan pa po natin ng more lines, di ba? Para maging even yung itsura ng page natin. So, kanina, she taught you how to add lines. So, mag-add lang po tayo ng L. Uh, I mean, press on L. So, L. And then, it automatically adds lines. Ah, ayaw ma-select. Wait lang. Ayan. Ayan, line. So, may na-add na line. So, right now, it's parang ang taba niya, ang weird. So, hindi siya same din sa iba. So, you would have to add lines before you would have to add lines manually, ganyan. So, isa-isa. So, now, we have extendable writing lines. So, this is an extendable writing line. So, what you do is, diba, ito po yung bounding box. Meron po siyang mga knobs dyan and then mga hands. Ayan. Wow, ang galing. <laughs> so, idadrag nyo lang po and automatically may mga lines na nanaan. You can also drag it here. Pwede din po siyang horizontal. Pwede din po siyang vertical. So, you don't have to add lines manually. Pwede nyo na lang po siya idrag. Ayan. And automatically nang nag-multiply ang inyong lines. So, how do you add writing lines? So, kunare magsa-start po tayo from scratch. So, we have this, um, let's say, we copy this. Let's say, wala pa tayong lines at all. Hindi sila nag -e exist How do you write? How do you add the lines? So, what you do is, punta po tayo dito sa objects panel, go to the elements tab, and then sa elements tab, there is a search bar. So, what you do is a search bar, you type writing lines. And then, make sure show up na po yung writing lines. Ayan. So, you just click on it, and then you drag it, and then resize it. So, parang makipot po, no? What you do is you make it bigger. And then, adjust, adjust, adjust. Okay. And then, you copy it, and you paste it. Ayan. So, copy, paste. Ayan. So, meron na po tayong writing lines. So, you can add that on your own then. So, meron tayong other kinds. Eh. Meron tayo nito. For younger kids, so if they want to practice writing, pwede rin po yan. Yan, extend horizontally and extend vertically. 
So, I hope that's helpful to you guys, to you teachers. Okay? So, back to our presentation. Next is the digital worksheet. So, what is the digital worksheet? Hold on. Ayan, naglo-load. What is the digital worksheet? So, it's basically a worksheet rin. Pero, since nakikita niyo po yung pagka-design niya, marami, marami po siyang colors. So, hindi po siya ideal to print kasi mamumulubi po tayo sa ink. Hirap na po. So, ang digital worksheet is ideal if yung class niyo po also has access to Canva. So, instead of printing it, pwede na nila i-type directly yung answers nila into this worksheet. So, they type their answers here. Kunwari, oh, la, 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 la. So, kunwari, ano yun? May sense yung tinype ko. Ayan. So, itatype lang po nila yan. And then, you type in your name. Yeah. So, that's basically a digital worksheet. Okay? So, to recap, we have two different worksheets, printable and digital. So, printable is something you can print, and digital is for students who also have access to Canva. And a helpful tip is to add writing lines. So, if you want to look for writing lines, you just type in writing lines on the element search tab and then the writing lines show up. Okay? So next is, so next is graphic organizers. So graphic organizers, um, they're basically like worksheets. Pero ang difference is specific yung use niya, yung graphic organizers. So it's specifically to lay out your information in a visual way. So kanina po, yung pinakita kong worksheet, parang puro lines, something you'll write on. It's not very visually appealing. Unlike pag graphic organizers, ayan. Siguro it's also make the information mas easily digestible to you. So you can, so you can just type in the graphic organizer on the homepage and then it will lead you to this page showcasing all the graphic organizers that we have. Okay? So, back to our presentation. Next is brainstorm. So, next po natin is brainstorm templates. These are very new templates na katatapos lang po namin gawin. So, what are brainstorm templates? So, um, ang use niya mainly is since wala nga po tayo sa classroom, since, so itong brainstorm templates is a space where the teachers and the students, um, the whole class can collaborate while they're online. So we have a lot of different brainstorm templates. We have mind maps, mood boards, storyboards. We have the classic brainstorm template. We also have group cards. We have a birthday group card. So I will show you an example of our mind map. So I'll click on this. Oh, also, if you want to access the brainstorm templates, punta lang po kayo sa homepage, and then on your search tab, just type in brainstorm templates. Okay? And then, so... Ito po ang at, ating mind map. I also want to show yung other templates natin. So, let me quickly show you. So, this is the storyboard brainstorm template. So, you can collaborate on a storyboard. Yung cool thing po dito is, meron siyang iba't ibang parts. So, pwede kayo gumawa ng sarili nyong character. For example, itong head na to. Ayan. Kakabit natin siya sa katawan na to. Ayan. Medyo, ang haba ng leeg niya. Ba't ganun? Wait lang. Ayan. And then you can... Ay! Kailangan lakihan. Ayan. And then... You can do that to all the other parts and then you can create your own character. 
para dun sa storyboard ninyo. Okay. And then, itong mind map, so, you can type in any idea or topic and then sa post-its, pwede nyo i-type yung mga ideas ninyo. So, pwede kayo mag-add ng more post-its. So, you just drag it and then copy and then paste and then copy nyo yung arrow. There. Copy nyo siya Okay, so one more thing to make collaborating easy is you can add actually comments dun sa design ninyo. So how do you add comments? Kunwari, idea na na to, mar marami kang feelings about it. You want to comment on it. So you just click on it and then kita po natin to, itong icon na to, uh, it says add comment. Click po natin yan. And then you can address the person directly. So kunwari, Mayroon akong comment kay Gladys. At Gladys. At. Okay, so. Ayan. Si Gladys. So, I have to invite them to the design first. Pero pwede nyo po i-comment directly kay Gladys. And then type in what you want to say. And then when you comment, uh, magsisend po yun ng email kay Gladys para malaman niya na nag-comment ka dun sa idea niya. So, para pwede nyo po ma-address agad. Okay, so that is collaboration. Yun po yung collaboration. Back to our presentation. You can also make group cards. So, ayan, medyo sad po ang birthdays ngayon dahil sa quarantine. Pero magstay lang po tayo sa bahay natin. So, you can also make group cards. So, here is an example of a birthday group card. So, happy birthday, Alison. And then, and then, and then, yung, pwede nyo po isend yung link sa class ninyo. And then, individually, pwede sila mag, uh, mag write ng message to Alison. So, ako. Hi, Alison. Happy birthday. Have a good one. Yay! Okay, and then pag, pag naka-fill out na ako, another person can fill it out. So, let's say, happy na birthday pa from Jay. Ay, from Jay. Ayan. So, hindi rin po limited to text yung pwede nyo i-add. Like yung tinuro po ni Che kanina, you can add in animated things, stickers, GIFs, photos. Actually, if you want to add a photo of Allison, you can also do that. So, punta po tayo sa objects panel dito sa elements. Ayan. So, search po tayo. Pretty. And then, kunwari, gusto nyo animated. Punta po tayo dito sa... Uh, how do you say this? Sa may right, sa right corner, merong icon dyan. Click nyo po yan. Tapos, click nyo tong animated. Apply filter. And then, lahat po nung stickers, lahat nung animated, yung makikita. So, pwede natin i-add tong. Ano ba maganda? So, si Allison may lick sa ice cream. So, add natin yan. Ayan. Ay! Ayan! Check it natin dito. O, oh, ba Ang cute. May animation. So, pag na-receive ni Allison yan, feel ko talaga matutuwa siya. Okay. So, that is collaboration on a birthday card. So, it can be anything. Kahit hindi birthday. Thank you card. Congratulations. Anything. Okay. So, recap. Ang meron po tayong iba't ibang templates on their brainstorm. Meron tayong mind map, mood board, storyboard, birthday group cards, and actually marami pa po eh. You can explore it on your own later on. Pagtapos ng ating workshop, search nyo po lahat ng templates na yan.
So helpful tip is you can add comments on your templates. So if you want to address a specific idea, pwede nyo i-tag yung person directly so they will see the comment. Okay. So next are some tips for creating effective educational content. So basically po, to create effective educational content, it has to be relatable. So it has to relate to your students and to the class. So what I can, what, uh, so ang gagawin ko po today is magdademo po ako sa inyo how you can personalize your templates. So I have this demo. Click on the demo. Okay. So I have this worksheet about my favorite food. So we have bananas. We have this. What do you call this? It's <laughs> And then we have this chicken leg, strawberries. Okay. So what I did is, um, inano ko siya, fini, inano ko siya to the Filipino market in a job. So I made it. So I changed it to this. Ayan. So, meron po tayong sorbetes, squid balls, taho, and ube. All the good things. So, tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano ito gawin, okay? So, ang gagawin po natin is back to the original. See? It says before. And this is the after. Okay. So, ito. Copy page. Copy po natin. Para pwede natin balikan in case na nagkamali ako. Okay, so what we do is we delete these elements. Ah, naalala ko na what it's called. It's a pretzel. Sorry. Okay, delete, delete those elements. Tapos, punta po tayo sa search. Click on the elements tab. Okay. And then, search po natin. So, Pinoy. Ah, na-search ko na. Oh. Pinoy food. And then, lalabas po siya. So, ayan, meron po tayo ditong lumpia, pastillas. Ayan. Nakakatawa to. Merong bowl of ice. O, di ba? Pag may party, meron, pa, meron tayong laging bowl of ice. Meron tayong lechon. Okay, so, ang i-add ko, ito, itong puto. So, click nyo lang po yun, and then, Apply nyo lang siya sa page nyo. Ayan, i-drag nyo siya kung saan nyo feeling maganda siya tignan. Ayan, puto. And then, gusto ko nitong halo-halo. Ayan. Parang ang laki niya, no? Sulitan natin. Medyo rotate-rotate natin siyang ganyan. Okay. So, dito medyo blank, no? Pagyan natin ng napaba. Lagyan na. Ay, nag-load. Lagyan natin ng taho. Yan. So, kanina po, na-mention ni Gladys na meron na rin tayo mga Pinoy fonts sa library natin. So, if you want, pwede nyo rin pong gamitin yun dito sa design niya Okay? So, ayan, pwede natin gamitin tong Kubao. Itong Kubao Narrow. Ayan. So, pwede rin po natin siyang lakihan. Move po natin. Move, move, move. Parang hindi siya bagay dyan, no? Huwag na yan. Huwag na yan. What else can we add? Kuchinta. Fun fact. Favorite ko yung kuchinta. <laughs> Not that it matters to you. Yan. So, move natin backwards para para hindi natatakpan yung text. 
And pastillas. Add natin ito. Ayan. So, pwede nyo pa i-move around yung mga bagay according to what you want. There. And then, pwede nyo rin po siya ang gawing Tagalog actually. So, ang aking favoritong pagkain. Pwede nyo rin po gawing Tagalog yung instructions. Pero feeling ko, mas magaling po kayo doon. Kaya hindi ko na po i-attempt na gawing Tagalog instructions. So, yun. That is an easy way to make your um, educational content more relatable. Diba? Kasi feeling ko naman po yung students nyo may ligrin po sila sa kuchinta. At sa puto. Diba? Okay. So, that is one example. So, another example is this one. Okay, so this is a worksheet um, on your, his uh, actually, I'm to, graphic organizer for your history notes. So I made it more Filipino, ayan. Meron tayong mga bayani, meron din tayong Filipino font. So again, papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano ko to ginawa. So copy lang po natin to. Um, you don't have to copy. Pwede nyo na rin po i-design directly sa template. But then, kung gusto nyo po balikan yung original kasi parang na nagkamali kayo, pwede nyo rin po i-copy. Okay? So, ang ginawa ko actually is delete this. Ayan. Uh, I deleted that. And then, balik ta sa element search tab natin. So, Pinoy, Pinoy. Ayan. Ayan. So, we can see meron na po, ayan, yung mga bayani natin. Pwede rin naman tong flag kung gusto ninyo. So, scroll pa po tayo. So, for this one, want to use ito. Si Rizal, lagay natin siya dyan. Okay, natin siya dyan. Ayan siya. Okay. And then, this is Gabriela. Si Lang. Si Lang? Si, si Lang. Ayan, you can make it bigger. Para lang maganda. So, diba, tinakpan ni Rizal yung date. Nako, nako Rizal, tinakpan mo yung date. So, what you do is, i-drag mo lang siya outside. Pwede mo naman siya i-redesign. Hindi naman strict na dun lang siya. Ayan. Also, nung ginagawa ko to, napansin ko, walang place para ilagay yung name. So, pwede mo na lang din ilagay yung name. Diba? So, copy natin yan. And then, write name. Tapos, gawin natin pantay. I think yung date and class, hindi naman nila kailangan ng ganong kalaking space. So, pwede silang mas malapit sa isa't isa. Yung name would be longer. So, mas malaki yung space niya dyan. Also, itong history notes, pwede natin palitan ang font to um, kya po. And then specify um, na it's for Philippine history. So you can write Philippine history. Ayan. Diba? Ang ganda. Ayan. So that is one way to make your worksheets more relatable to your students. So, from this, you can change it to this or pwede rin ito. So, that is my demo. And thank you. I hope you learned something today and 
Sana po ma-apply ninyo yung mga tinuro ko on your worksheets and on your presentations. And as part of the education squad, super saya po namin sa mga positive comments nyo about how you're using, can how you're maximizing your Canva for Education um, accounts. Wow! So, palakpakan natin virtual clap sa ating uh, Ma'am Thea. Maraming salamat po. And, uh, ay, FYI lang Ma'am Thea, alam mo ba, ng ating ETU, gamit na gamit po ang Canva. So, yung mga announcements natin, <laughs> yung mga posters natin ay gawa po sa Canva yan. So, maraming salamat po. So, na-share sa atin ni Ma'am Thea ang uh, mga education templates na talagang pinag-aralan, pinag-isipan at nakita mo Sir Ariel na talagang design talaga for education. So, wala nang gagawin pa si teacher. I-edit na lang niya. Yes, ang maganda pa doon is it's downloadable as PDF yung mga presentations. So, it can work ah, online and it can work also offline. Yes, yeah. yes. At napawawa ko doon Sir Ariel yung sa website. Ang galing. So, pwede mong i-share yung presentation. <laughs> sa website. Tama. So, ayun, meron tayong presentations. So, may, pwedeng i, um, it can be downloadable as PDF. We, we also have worksheets na printable and oh. digital. So, ang maganda dun sa ginawa ni ma'am, yung mga extendable lines. Kasi, di ba, underscore na mahaba ka, tapos uh -oh. enter, <laughs> underscore na mahaba ka ulit, yes. enter. At yes. ito, maganda, idadrag mo lang yun and that's Extendable talaga yung mga lines. So, tapos may mga connecting lines pa. So, it's actually a good feature. And also, yung ating brainstorm na yung uh, element of brainstorm, ang ganda. Yung mga mind map na yan. Yung mga ibang activities na yan. So, so yan, so yan. wow. Wow talaga yan. <laughs> At ang maganda pa sa Canva, actually, ang inter pinaka-interesting talaga sa kanya, yung mga colors niya, very millennial yung yung dating, no? Exactly, yes. At yung mga Filipinaing, kumbaga mga Filipino stickers, na, sabi mo nga sa chat natin kanyan, sir, parang nagutog ka. Ginuto mo ako ni Ma'am Thea dun sa Pagsinta. Ano ba yun? Sana may, sana may mag... Sana may magpot-pot dito, magtinda ng puto ko tsinda kasi minsan may dumadaan di ba, sa mga pot-pot. Yes. Ang galing, ang very galing. Pinoy. So, mga, very very yeah, Pinoy, nakaka-proud. Yeah, ang galing-galing ng mga stickers, pagkain Pinoy, yung mga bayani natin, yung mga text. Talagang uh, uh, Pinoy na Pinoy talaga. Sir. Talagang sigurado ako mag-enjoy yung mga teachers natin na gamitin yung mga stickers na yon And isang nga Sir Ariel na tip ni Ma'am ay sa ating mga teachers ay gamitin ito na kung saan na uh, makaka-relate yung mga ating mga learners. Sigurado na doon pa lang sa mga teachers mo, related na sila or relatable na para sa kanila. Pero yung, uh, yung pagpaprocess ng inyong lesson ay much makakatulong if it's a real-life application. Tama, Sir Ariel? Yes, tama yan. No? Ang Canva is very inclusive yung education na pinapakita niya kasi sa preschool, di ba? Ang colors kasi may... Sa atin, may effect sa emotion ng ating mga learners. Eh. So, very interesting to, teachers, sa paggagawa tayo ng ating mga um, activity sheets, worksheets using Canva, let's make sure na ito ay intended para dun sa ating specific na mga learners. Kaya ito ay very inclusive na um, par par material, no? paggawa ng mga materials natin. So, clap clap ma'am Thea. It's a nice presentation. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you, Thank you Ma'am Thea. Ayan. Sir Match may nagtatanong kanina. Siguro excited ito sa sa susunod na ano na magpe-present kasi nagtatanong sila paano po kung sa videos naman, sa ganito namang mga ano yung mga element dun sa kanilang gagawin for Canva. Meron kaya itong mga videos? Yes, Sir Ariel. Excited na tayo diyan. So pakilala ko na ba ang ating next speaker? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Alright, so ang ating next uh, resource speaker ay uh, mag-share sa atin kung paano tayo makapag-create ng mga video content sa Canva at paano natin ma-impress ang ating mga uh, learners in uh, doing our presentation. So, uh, walang iba, pakilala natin ang Head of Design, ang ulo ng mga design sa Canva. Sir Angelo, good morning! Hi, good morning po sa mga nanonood. Good morning po. Oh, Sir Angelo. Hello. 
So ako po si Angelo, sa, uh, ako po yung head of design sa Canva Philippines at uh, so bali ang ginagawa ko po talaga sa Canva, tinutulungan ko po lahat ng mga design teams namin um, para makagawa ng kanilang mga templates, mga kanilang mga illustrations at kung ano-ano pang design related uh, um, tasks. Po. Wow. Yes. Sir Angelo mukhang lalawak ngayon yung team mo because um, a lot are listening and watching dito sa ating Canva um, work work um, Canva hands on activity so yung team mo ay hindi lang limited for uh, um, limited number no ito ay buong yeah. Pilipinas at sa ibang bansa na no no how many viewers do we have sir match nasa 10,000 so, or 10,000 na tayo no? more than 10,000 sir more than 10,000 tayo wow. sa ating Facebook and YouTube live and by the way marami tayong mga uh, educators din na nag-create ng mga watch parties and tayo rin ay nakakaros view sa Depet view at uh, Depet tayo na website or page wow maraming salamat yeah. po sa mga nanonood yeah so marami yeah, so, marami sir Sir Angelo Sir Mad si Sir Angelo na no so good yes. luck Sir Angelo you, sir. thank you Susunod kami sa hands-on mo. <laughs> Sige po. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, everyone. So, share po ako ng screen ko. Uh, okay. So, habang, bago po ako magsimula, uh, mga reminders lang po. So, um, yung survey po, kung hindi nyo pa na sasagutan, please answer our survey. Inedit na po namin siya based on your feedback. Salamat po dun sa mga sumagot na ng aming mga survey. Um, and makakatulong po ito sa aming um, pag, uh, pagpaganda ng mga features ng Canva. Um, uh, paalala rin po na yung mga slides na or yung mga presentations po na present namin, share din po namin pagkatapos ng webinar. share po namin sa Canva for Philippines. Canva for Filipino Teachers Community namin. So, kung hindi pa kayo nakajoin sa group na yun, please, uh, please follow or please join the Facebook group. It's uh, Canva for Filipino Teachers. Okay? Um, okay. I think we can start. So, um, so, today I'll be discussing two things. One is presentations, one is video. So, we only have mga 30 minutes. So, uh, susubukan ko pong i- uh, pasok lahat ng uh, pwede kong ipasok sa 30 minutes na ito, okay? Um, Alright, so um, yung unang presentation ko po is tungkol sa paano natin mapapaganda ating mga, mga presentations, paano natin uh, magiging, uh, paano natin uh, magagawang mas impressive or mas impactful ang ating mga presentations through design. So, uh, I will be discussing po mainly about design kasi kayo po ang experts sa inyong mga tiyoturo ang subject area. Uh, kaya, um, I leave, the, I leave that up to you. So, yung tuturo ko po ngayon is more on design and how you can make your presentations nicer. Okay? Um, if you want to follow along, please pick a template to edit. You can use yung uh, education presentation na uh, search keywords sa ating can uh, Canva homepage na parang tinuro rin ni Kaya kanina. Um, so, kung gusto niyo pong sumunod, you can pick a template now. I'll give you a few seconds. Um, habang pumipili po tayo ng template, um, magsasagot lang po muna ako ng uh, ibang mga katanungan na uh, na uh, didagdag po natin sa comment section. Ano? So, una po, um, yung sa, uh, may nagtanong po tungkol sa Canva for Education, kung gagana po siya sa smartphones. Yes, kung gagana, gagana po siya sa smartphones. Uh, if, you, if you use the Canva app for our uh, for iOS or Android, pwede po siya. Kailangan lang um, ninyo mag-sign in sa uh, using your Canva for Education account. Okay? Um, may nagtanong din po tungkol sa um, inserting elements using a specific size or... Um, using specific na measurement. So yung measurements po, uh, ginagawa na namin po ngayon. Uh, actually, uh, tinetest na rin po namin yun. Uh, magkaka-rulers po tayo hopefully very soon. Uh, that will help with your designs as well. Okay? Um, and then, uh, yung mga sudyante po ninyo na gusto nyo isama sa, uh, sa inyong classroom sa Canva for Education, you can add them, you can invite them to your um, uh, classroom. Uh, mer meron po doon option to add uh, 
uh, an email address of your student. So, um, pwede nyo po doon invite tapos kahit wala pa silang Canva account, doon po, um, doon po sila hihingan ng uh, parang mag-sign up. Okay? Okay, sana nakapili na po kayo ng template. Um, ito po yung template na gagamitin ko. So, it's a red and white playful mathematics class education presentation. So, uh, binuksan ko na po siya. So, ito po yung presentation na i-edit ko throughout the, um, the session. Medyo marami po siyang slides. Um, kung gusto niyo po for the output kasi uh, I, uh, kung gusto niyo pong gumawa ng worksheet or presentation or video, pwede niyo pong gawing output yon. Uh, kung presentation po ang napili nyo, siguro po limitahan na lang natin to 3 to 5 slides para hindi ganun kadami yung kailangan nyo i-edit. Ano? Um, tapos, ang mga education presentations po natin, um, so nakadesign na po siya, um, they look very cohesive and unified. Um, meron din pong quick tip po, sa dulo po ng mga education presentations natin, meron po mga free um, icons, free illustrations na pwede nyo pong gamitin and they all look similar, they all look, all look the same, and it will make your presentation more cohesive and more unified. So, yun po. So, ito po yung mga um, free resources na kasama dun sa template na pinili nyo. Okay? So, mapapadali rin po yung buhay nyo kung kumuha na lang din kayo ng mga illustrations at examples galing dito. Okay? So, ito po yung edit ko throughout the session. Babalik-balikan po natin itong presentation na to, ano? Um, so, uh, importante po ang apat na to para magawang mas maganda yung design ng ating mga presentation. So, color, text, imagery, and layout. So, kung nanood po kayo nung huli naming webinar um, with DepEd na um, natakal na po itong mga, uh, mga um, elements na to or um, uh, principles of design or whatever you want to call it, um, so, ito pong apat na to makakatulong po na magpaganda ng ating presentations. Um, so, para dito po, specific for presentations, magbibigay lang po ako ng konting tips for each of them. And then, I'll go back to the presentation that we're editing. Okay? So, um, first one is using color. Okay? So, quick tip number one para mas mapaganda ang ating mga presentations. Um, please use four colors max. Kasi pag mas marami pong kulay dun sa presentation, minsan um, nakaka-distract or masyado nagiging busy, hindi na uh, nauunawaan agad ng mga sudyante natin yung mga impormasyon na nilalagay natin sa presentation. So, quick tip number one, four colors max. Um, paano tayo pipili ng kulay? Usually po, isang light na color, isang dark na color, and then one to two na accent colors. Okay, so uh, ito po examples lang ng uh, light and dark with an accent or light and dark with two accent colors. So if you need more help, we have a free tool at Canva. So www.canva.com slash colors. At dito po pwede tayong kumuha ng mga ideas para sa color palettes. Pwede nyo po kunin dito mismo yung mga color palettes. Um, even mga color meanings po kung ibig sabihin ng paggamit ng ganitong kulay. Um, andyan din po. Okay? Um... Sunod po na tip is make use of contrast. So ano po ang contrast? Um, bale, ito po yung pagkakaiba ng kulay para mas maging halata yung pagkakaiba ng mga bagay sa inyong design. Okay, saan nakuha niyo po yun? So basically, it's um, a play on light and dark to make your designs more interesting and more um, readable. So kung uh, example po na to, um, isang araling panlipunan na presentation na ginawa ko niya rin, uh, ginawa ko. Um, so gumawa po ako ng presentation tungkol sa iba't ibang region ng Pilipinas, pero yung ginamit ko pong kulay dito, masyado pong magkalapit yung kulay. Medyo mahirap po siya basahin, medyo masakit sa mata. Um, kaya hindi po siya magiging effective um, na presentation. So gusto po natin na mas may contrast po yung mga kulay na ginagamit natin. So kahit na monochromatic po ito pong isang example, mas maganda po yung contrast niya. So pareho pong Content, binago ko lang po yung kulay, pero mas madali po siyang basahin. So, uh, mas madali pong basahin yung title, mas madali rin pong basahin yung, uh, yung illustration na nilagay ko po sa kanan. Okay? Tip number three for, um, for contrast or for colors, um, 
is again using contrast pero paano po natin gagamitin yung contrast or yung um, dark and light color so yung dark colors po um, usually karaniwan ginagamit po to sa mga uh, main slides niyo po um, kasi po um, ang light slides nakakapag nakakaagaw ng pansin so kung nagle-lecture po kayo um, mas mabuting yung slides niyo po nasa naka-dark color and then yung mga transition slides niyo po yung light color so yun po yung mga tips na pwede kong mabigay para sa um, color so balik po tayo dun sa presentation natin um inedit ko na po ng konti yung iba um pero uh ide-demo ko po nang sandali itong um uh, first few slides, okay? So, pumili po ako ng kulay dito. Ito po yung color palette na gusto ko. Um, mga kulay po sa Canva. <laughs> okay, so, um, gusto ko lang pong uh, ayusin yung kulay kasi yung red po minsan masakit sa mata, especially sa ibang mga estudyante na baka, pwede, baka color blind or ano. Um, so, gagamit po ako ng mas uh, cool na colors, mas, uh, mas magaan sa mata, mas malamig sa mata. Okay. So, una kong gagawin siguro, uh, baguhin ko yung background para, yung kulay ng background para um, makita ko kung ano yung pwede kong baguhin dun sa mga mismong illustration. Okay. So, yung background ko po gagawin ko um, yung teal color na pinili ko. Ayan. Um, so, nakita natin na may mga nalulunod na kulay. Uh, ay, ay, babaguhin po natin yan. So, yung math class po, um, gawin natin darker color para mas mag uh, mas mabasa siya. Ayan. Um, tapos, ito pong uh, bibe dito. Paguhin na rin natin yung kulay para umayon siya dun sa color palette na pinili natin. So, pinakita po kanya ni Che na pwede niyong baguhin yung kulay ng mga illustrations na nasa elements tab. Okay? So, ito pong bibe, uh, may mga uh, color boxes po tayo sa upper left. Pwede po natin baguhin yung kulay ng bibe. So, um, itong blue, gawin natin yung light uh, purple na pinili ko sa aking color palette. Um, siguro yung mga red gawin natin uh, yung teal color. Ayan. Um, ayan. So parang umaayon naman siya. So okay na po ako dito sa first slide. Uh, so sa second slide, pwede ko rin pong baguhin yung uh, mga kulay para umaayon dun sa kulay ng mga uh, sa color palette na pinili ko. So itong kids, high kids, pwede kong gawing um, itong teal color. Um, itong elephant, pwede ko rin pong baguhin. Uh, sige, pili tayo ng mga kulay na ayon sa ating uh, color palette. So, ito, gawin natin, oops. Itong red, gawin natin uh, dark na purple. Ayan. So, so ito yung bef ito po yung after. Bale. So, uh, Ito po, yung ibang slides, binago ko na rin yung kulay para umayon siya dun sa color palette natin. Ayan. Okay? So, balik po tayo sa presentation. So, yun po yung kulay. So, sana nakasunod po kayo. Um, next is text. So, paano po natin magagamit yung text para mas mapaganda pa lalo ang ating presentation? So, tip number one for text, use sans serif fonts. Okay, so um, kung babalikan nyo po yung unang uh, the webinar na ginawa namin, um, may dalawang klase ng uh, fonts na, na diniscuss, serif and sans serif. So sans serif po yung recommendation namin, especially pag um, nagpe-present po kayo sa digital screen, kunyari sa mga phone, sa mga computer screen, sa mga TV, Kasi po, mas malinis po siya tingnan, mas madali po siyang basahin sa mga digital spaces. Tip number two. So, kung mayroon na, pilo, na po kayo na piling uh, sans serif na font, ang recommendation po namin ay gumamit ng isang font family. Ano po ibig sabihin nun? Um, so, may mga font families po, yun, yung, yun po ang tawag. So, bali, ang ibig lang po sabihin nun, um, yung font na pinili nyo, may iba-ibang um, mga kapal. Okay, so may mga thin, may mga bold, um, and uh, pag pumili po kayo ng isang font family na may maraming uh, mga options sa kapal niya, um, 
mas madali pong maha-highlight ang ibang mga text natin sa mga presentation. So, yun. Babalikan po natin ito mamaya. Tip number three for text. Um, use 30 plus text font size. Okay? So, minimum 24 pero usually 30 plus po. Mas madali pong basahin. Um, so, isa pong example, ito po ang... Um, um, isang sample na slide, kunyari, tungkol sa National Capital Region. So, kasama po siya dun sa presentation ko kanina na uh, tungkol sa iba-ibang region ng Pilipinas. Okay? So, ito, National Capital Region, may information po tayo tungkol sa uh, NCR. Okay? So, uh, right now, nasa 25 po yung uh, font size ko dun sa um, information na to. So, medyo marami po siya, lalo na kung nag-lecture pa po kayo, sunsundan din ang mga sadyante nyo. Medyo mahirap sundan yung text kasi may nagsasalita din. So, maraming information. So, um, using 30 plus na font size po, makatulong po yun dahil um, malilimitahan niya yung nilalagay nyo sa slide. So, na, na-force po kayo uh, maglagay ng mga importanteng detalye lamang. Or, isi-split up nyo po into several slides yung information. So, um, so, ito po, kinuha ko po yung unang part ng um, text-heavy na block dito. Kinuha ko po siya. Tapos, spinlit ko po siya dun sa iba pang mga content. Ayan. So, ito po nasa mas, um, mas, ma mas madaling basahin din po. Okay? Alright. So, balik po tayo dun sa presentation na, na in-edit ko. Um, babalik ko rin po itong uh, mga font options. Siguro babagawin ko po yung fonts nung um, presentation template na napili ko. Um, siguro uh, gagawin ko, gagamitin ko tong Montserrat dahil medyo um, medyo wide po yung font na to. So, mas madali rin po basahin para sa mga estudyante. Okay. So, balik po tayo dun sa ating presentation. Okay. So, ito po um Pwede nating baguhin yung fonts dito. Okay? So, ngayon po, yung ginagamit niya is League Spartan na, na font. Pwede nating baguhin. Gusto ko yung Montserrat na pinakita ko kanina. Pwede nating Montserrat Extra Bold para madaling basahin. Uh, baguhin ko rin yung subheading dito or um, uh, yung Teacher Angelo na text box. So, pinalitan ko na po siya. Ayan. Okay. Um, ayan. So, pinalitan ko na rin po yung iba dito yung mga fonts. Siguro, pwede kong baguhin din itong uh, mas font-heavy or text-heavy. Um, so, pwede ko pong piliin yung mga text box. Babaguhin natin yung two. One, serat. So, yun po yung maganda pag font family. May may mga iba-ibang kapal. Um, pwede nyo pong differentiate yung title, yung subheaders, yung mga body text, ganyan. Mas madali po siyang um, palitan. So, ito po, gawin natin Montserrat Semi-Bold. Itong huli, Montserrat. Ayan. So, ayan. palitan ko na po yung fonts. Okay? So, pwede nyo rin po paglaraan yung font size, parang dun sa pinakita ko kanina sa presentation. Pwede natin lakihan para mas madaling basahin kung gusto nyo. Okay? Okay. Um, okay. So, yun po yung sa text. Um, yung susunod po is imagery. So, ang tip po doon is show, don't tell. Um, mas, madali pong, uh, may, ma, uh, mas madali pong basahin yung presentation pag hindi lang puro text. Kasi medyo mabigat din po sa mata yun. Um, gagamit po tayo ng iba-ibang um, graphics or imagery para ma maging mas, interesa mas maging interesting yung ating mga presentation. So, ito po, example lang um, ng text heavy na slide. So, health benefits of coconuts. Yeah. So, paano po natin to gagamitan ng mga imagery? So, depende po sa, uh, sa mga studyante nyo kung ano yung mas effective o depende rin po sa personal taste nyo. Pwede nyo pong gamitan ng iba-ibang klaseng uh, graphics or imagery. So, una is photos. Um, you can add a photo. You can add illustrations. So, yung mga pinakita ni Che kanina. Uh, pwede rin po kayo magdagdag ng charts. Uh, pinakita rin po ni Cheto kanina. So, uh, yung, pero yung favorite ko po uh, sa pag-breakdown ng text is to summarize and pick out the important information and use icons to um, help with your um, 
with your message, right? So, um, importante rin po dito pag ginagawa po natin to, yung mga elements po, uh, mas maganda kung uh, similar po yung mga itsura niya. Okay? So, balik po tayo dun sa in-edit nating presentation, no? Uh, okay, ito po. So, um, balikan po natin yung, sa so sinabi ko po kanina, yung mga education presentations po natin, uh, meron mga free resources po dun sa dulo ng presentation. So, you can use these illustrations and elements in your design and you can change some of the elements that are already in there, okay? So, for this one, um, parang gusto kong gamitin itong ibon na to instead of yung uh, bibe, okay? So, balik po tayo sa first page. Uh, balitan natin to into our other bird. Okay? Tapos, pwede rin natin baguhin yung mga kulay niya. Okay? So, para umayon din po siya dun sa uh, mga kulay na pinili ko sa color palette. Ayan. Okay? Oh, medyo mahilap basahin. Okay. Okay. So, example lang para mabilis. Um, so, pwede rin ako po yung iba. Um, so, yung dati elephant po to. Ginawa kong monkey. Um, yung mga rabbit po dito, ginawa kong mga uh, aso at isda. Maka, mas makarelate yung mga sudyante natin. Okay, so mga example lang po kung paano po. Pwedeng baguhin. Okay. Okay, huli po tungkol sa presentation. Um, uh, so layout naman. So um, consistency is cool. It's... it's um, how you can uh, maintain siguro yung um, layout consistent across all your presentations or slides to make it more interesting or more unified. So, um, hierarchy po is a big, uh, is an important tip is uh, uh, using hierarchy will help your audience um, with focusing on the right or important information in your slide. So, example lang po to. Um, so, um, this is an example of good hierarchy because um, um, mafo-focus po yung mata niya una dun sa header, tapos sa subheader, dun sa mas maliit na font, at, at yung pinakahuli na um, pinakamaliit din na um, text box dito. Okay? So, how do you do that? You can use weight. That's why importante po yung paggamit ng font family na maraming options sa kapal ng font. Kasi nakakapag-emphasize po yun o nakak nakagawa rin po ng hierarchy. Okay? Um, sa kulay po, you can also use color to make things stand out. You can also use size. So pag mas malaki, usually mas um, mas nababasa po agad. Yun yung unang na nakikita. And finally, using all three. So yung weight, yung color, yung size, pwede po natin gamitin together para um, makagawa ng magandang hierarchy. Okay? Um, also good to learn about um, yung paggamit ng title or heading, subheading, and the body um, to organize or um, order yung hierarchy in your design. Okay? So balik po tayo dun sa presentation na ini-edit natin. So karamihan po ng slides dito, na-design na po ng ating uh, mga template designers, kaya nila siya. So sila po, um, naayos na nila talaga yung hierarchy nito at saka yung design, kailangan nyo lang talaga is um, edit the content um, and change it to make it more um, personalized or even uh, fit your class. Okay? So yun po yung presentations. I, uh, uh, I want to leave some time to uh, discuss uh, video kasi napaka-importante po niya ngayon. Okay? So... Punta po tayo dito sa video. Um, so, last few minutes, I want to discuss video. And it's super easy, super quick to create video on Canva. So, um, this next session is about creating engaging video content on Canva. Um, so, why should I use video? Because video matters more than ever now. Kasi video gets more engagement. Um, and... Important din po siya, lalo na sa may mga, um, lalo na po sa mga gumagamit ng 
ALS na system uh, or may mga learning management system na po yung mga school nila, um, mas madali pong um, mag-ingest ng information using video. So not only does it get more engagement, it's um, it's a good tool or a good medium to use during this time. Kasi pwede nyo pong i-break down into small videos yung information or yung mga lectures nyo and then your 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 students can um, watch them in their own time. So pwede nilang i-paste yung sarili nila. Okay? So, um, pero ang problem is uh, creating creating quality video is very challenging. Um, and that's why we made kind of a video. So we wanted to make it easier. So magkaka papakita ko po sa inyo mga options na pwede nyong gawin for kind of video. Um, first is we have a lot of templates to get you started. Uh, mga video templates, mga social media templates that you can use as starting off points. Um, kung gusto nyo pong gumawa ng video output for this uh, workshop, you can pick a template from this, uh, from using these uh, keywords, video or education video. Um, pero for this particular demo, gagamit po ako ng um, coronavirus Facebook post. So, um, meron po kasi kaming mga uh, coronavirus na mga, na mga templates na pwedeng gamitin. Meron na pong content kasi siya, uh, kaya gagamitin ko po siya pang demo ngayon. So, ang pinili ko pong um, template ay ito. So, it's a coronavirus Facebook post. Um, so, if you want to check it out, let's go to Canva. Um, Corona virus Facebook. Okay. So, marami pong um, content dito. Naka, meron na pong information doon na pwede natin gamitin. Especially yung mga um, uh, mga templates with um, COVID guidelines and COVID information from WHO. So, um, parang gusto ko po itong gamitin. So, ito yung gagamitin kong template. Okay. So, eight slides po siya na may, na may content na. Ayan. So, may mga tips po on how to prevent COVID spread. Ayan. So, yan po yung gagamitin kong template. Um, balik lang po tayo. So, mga reminders ng stuff that you can use for any video that you make on Canva. One is using stickers. Um, uh, nagpakita naman po si Che kanina kung paano maglagay ng stickers. Uh, meron, kung gusto nyo rin pong gumamit ng stickers, um, animated stickers na letters, individual letters, meron din po kami niyan. So, ito po, isa-isa kong pinagdag dito. So, kailangan nyo lang po hanapin sa Elements tab um, and you can search for the letter. So, okay. Um, and then, I can actually uh, search for this. Yan. So, makikita nyo po dyan. And uh, pwede nyo pong dagdag sa design nyo. So, inisa-isa ko lang po siya. Nagay ko siya dito. Okay? So, mamaya, babalikan din po natin yan. Okay. Um, adding video. So, you can also add videos to your um, slides or pages, whatever template that you use. Um, you go to your objects panel and use the video tab. So, meron po dito mga options for um, uh, free footage that you can use for your presentations, for your videos, for your lectures in class. Okay, so, pili siguro tayo ng uh, itong beach photo. Ayan. So, pag naglagay po tayo ng video, pwede nyo siyang i-preview. Uh, meron naman po play button dyan. At uh, you can also um, check yung playback dito po sa um, slider dito sa baba. Okay? Pwede rin nyo, pwede nyo rin pong i-edit yung haba ng video nyo. So, iseselect nyo lang po yung video. Uh, meron po dito option sa taas to trim the video. And that means I can pick kung saan ako magsa-start dun sa video, tsaka saan ako mag end Okay? So, may mga teal um, controllers po dito sa ends ng video. You just have to click and drag to um, put where put it where you want it. Uh, okay? So, let's say 4 seconds yan. So, yung pag pinlayback po siya, yung part lang na po na-select na ko, yun lang po yung mag-replay. Okay? Uh, and finally, you can also add animation and music to your 
um, template. So I'll use I'll use the template the remaining time and uh, I'll edit this template. So really, really quickly, I can make a video, an info informational video for my class that they can watch. Um, okay. So meron na po ako dito mga assets at uh, saka content. Okay. Um, so pag, pin, uh, pag um, sinelect niyo po yung page, may option po na lumalabas sa upper left na animate. Okay. So, ibig pong sabihin nito, pag pinlik ko yung animate, lalagyan niya po ng animation yung slide na to or yung page na to. So, meron iba-ibang um, options for animation. Okay? Mapipreview nyo po siya bago, nyo, bago po kayo mag-commit. So, siguro dun sa unang page gusto ko yung block na animation. May, op may option po akong i-apply ito sa lahat ng mga slides or lahat ng pages. Um, pero um, I will change the animation per page para makita nyo lang yung mga iba-ibang pwedeng um, animation. Ayan. So, nalagyan ko ng iba-ibang animation to. And then... Oh. And then this one. Okay. Sabihin natin tapos na ako. Okay. Pwede kayo mag-preview dito. So, so next, uh, katabi po ng share button, pwede tayo mag-preview ng video. So if you play back po niya yung, um, yung uh, presentation or yung pages with the animation. Okay. So pag naglagay rin po kayo ng video doon, um, yung haba po nung slide na yun, nakadepende po siya doon sa haba ng video nung niligay niyo. Okay. Yeah. So, next step is gusto kong mag dagdag ng music. Sige. Magsa-stop share muna ako ng screen um, para ma-play ko yung audio. Uh, let me choose. So, adjust nyo na lang po yung volume ng uh, ng uh, ng headset nyo or ng speakers nyo. Baka magulat po kayo kung may mag-play ng music. Um, sir, pwede po pa-share ulit ng screen ko? Ayan. Okay, so ito po yung palehong uh, uh, animation na ginawa ko kanina. Gusto kong nagdag nga ng music. Okay. So, pili po tayo dito sa music pan, uh, music tab ng objects pan. Uh, marami po dito ang free music that you can use. Okay. Um, siguro I'll use this one. Pwede nyo pong i-preview muna. Ano naririnig niya? Okay, so kunyari masaya na ako dyan, pwede ko siyang i-click. Tapos yung song po na yon or yung music na yon mag apply siya sa buong video. Okay? Kung gusto nating edit yung haba nung, or yung kung ano yung magpa-play dun sa uh, music track natin, kailangan lang po natin i-click yung um, button na lalabas dito pag may napili na pong song. So, ito, ukulele song, if I press that, may lalabas po na waveform dito. Ayan, pwede po natin control yung volume. Tapos, um, pwede rin natin piliin yung kung anong section ng music yung magpa-play. So, kiklik ko lang po itong may kulay dun sa waveform. Tapos, pwede ko siyang i-drag kung saan part ko siya gusto mag-play. So, siguro, um, good tip is to have it towards the end para pag nag-end yung video nyo, Um, parang mas may ending siya. Hindi lang siya cut. Okay? So, kunyari, happy na ako dyan. Pwede ko siyang i-preview ngayon with the music. So, pag happy na po kayo sa video nyo, um, pwede nyo pong i-download using the download icon here. Download as video. 
Um, tapos pwede nyo nang i-download. So, yung, hab- yung tagal po nung pag-download, depende po sa haba nung video nyo, depende sa dami ng um, videos na nilagay nyo or mga assets na nilagay nyo. So, ayan po. Pwede po tayo mag-download ng video. So, um, yun lang po. Dun lang po. Yun lang po yung demo ko. Um, sana nakasunod po kayo. Um, pwede nyo naman po i-playback yung webinar na ito sa uh, DepEd page as well as uh, I think sa Canva page namin. Um, yung mga presentations po i-share namin sa uh, sa inyo sa uh, Facebook page namin, Facebook group namin for Filipino teachers. So, kung hindi pa po kayo nakakasali sa group na yun, please join us. And there's going to be more information, more helpful tips um, in that Facebook group. Okay? Uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, Sir Angelo. Wow. So, Thank you. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so sorry, expert, sir. Talaga, no? expert Sir Ariel ang invite natin mga speakers natin today. Yes, so napakaganda nung presentation ni Sir Angelo, no? Uh, may video, no? May mga animation at maganda yung suggestion ng ng ating uh, Canva team about colors kasi malaking effect talaga itong mga colors na ito sa ating mga learners. Yes, and even sa paggamit ng ating mga text, so nagbigay si Sir Angelo ng mga tips kung anong dapat na suggested lang naman ng mga font size or font na gagamitin natin. Sans serif, tandaan natin yeah. 'yon. <laughs> yes. Ayan. And mention ni sir na meron tayong Facebook uh, group, yung mga presentations nila na ginamit will be shared and yung mga tips pa kung may kailangan niyo pa ng mga karagdagang tips ay uh, you can subscribe, follow their Facebook page, join lang po kayo para mas marami pa tayong mapawaw aha Canva na moment. Yes, lahat ng lahat ng presentation sila na ginamit today ay nandun sa group na yan. So, better yeah. join the Canva for Filipino Teacher Facebook group. All right, yeah. thank you very much. Siguro nandyan sila, Ma'am Che, Ma'am uh, Gladys, Ma'am Thea. Pasok mo tayo. Ayan, yeah, so... so... Yay, yeah, clap, clap. <laughs> group teacher. Ang galing-galing, ang ganda-ganda. At talagang ito ay... Uh, very friendly, uh, user friendly, teacher friendly, learners friendly. Ang ganda ng dating, very millennial. Makaka-relate talaga ang ating mga learners with this. At ang maganda pa dito, Sir Maj, yung sabi ko nga pa ulit-ulit, very inclusive yung pwedeng gawin kasi may video, may audio, may images, may text. So, ano pa ba? Kompleto na pala itong Canva na ito. Canva for Education. Yes. So, very nice. Yes, tama Sir Ariel at mapapadali ang paggawa ng ating mga teachers ng mga learning materials. And kung may mga parents tayo na nakatutok today, sigurado excited na sila mag-print ng mga worksheets. Ay, mga parents natin, ma- matututo sila dito aside from doing worksheets, yung mga gumagawa, uso ang online selling, yung mga ads nila, wow, malamang tama. gamitin ito. Yung mga teachers din na nagsa-sideline, kailangan yan. So, Kung gusto nyo ng buhay na buhay ang inyong mga ads, aside from buhay na buhay ang ating mga worksheets, we can use Canva. Alright, siguro let's ask Ma'am Gladys, baka may message para sa ating mga uh, teachers in behalf of the Canva team, educa- uh, Canva education team. Ms. Gladys? Uh, yes po. Uh, for all the teachers, educators, um, even the parents who are gonna start homeschooling, Nandito po kami para sa inyo um, and we want nothing else but to support our educators and support everybody um, sa new normal natin. So um, if you want to follow our social media pages and for the teachers to join our channel for Filipino teachers, um, we're all here for you. Kaya natin to. Ayan. Kaya, kaya. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you, Kanga Education Team. Maraming salamat. Ayan. I-expect na natin na itong um, Canva, yung mga presentation sa to, eh magiging viral ngayon itong uh, Canva. May kita natin yung mga posts, mga my days. Nako, magiging ano talaga to. Contagious itong ano eh. Ito, ve- ve- hindi lang coronavirus ang viral ngayon. 
<laughs> mas magiging mabilis ang pag-spread ng paggamit ng Canva today. Expect na natin yan ngayon sa Facebook. Maraming gumagamit ng Canva. Yeah. So, with that, Sir Ariel, I think nag-extend tayo ng 9 minutes. So, shout out na natin ang ating mga kaguruan na nagluluto, nagpe-prepare ng lunch, or kumakain habang nagkakanba. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagtutok sa atin. Yes, maraming salamat. Uh, special mention ko na rin uh, yung aking pinsan, si Ma'am Jaimeline Manalili of our guest sa Palaocan City Business High School sa department niya sa English and Filipino Department. Hello po, ingat po kayo dyan. And syempre sa SCO oh, last year. Yes, sir, much. Oh, oh. Shout out kayo. Shout out sila. Nakamute sila, sir. Oo. Shout out na lang sa <laughs> Shout out to everyone in Canva Philippines, yung mga office mates namin. Hello. Yes, hello. All right, so Hello po sa inyo. Oh, Sir Maj, um ito na yung um, important announcement natin. It doesn't end with our webinar session. Uh, for our certificate yeah. and attendance, what do they need to do? What do our participants need to do? All right. So sa ating mga participants today na tumutok, you may now go to our LMS. That's a uh, training that uh, deped.com. Tama ba Sir Ariel? O nalito ako doon. So open natin. So training that deped.gov.ph. Uh, kung kayo po ay naka-enroll, much better. Makikita niyo na pa yung mga courses natin, ang ating Canva na course. And then, you may now take our short quiz lang naman na siguradong ipapasa ninyo. So again, meron tayong key code. Sir Ariel, ano yung key code natin? Hello, Sir Ariel? <laughs> Nakamute pala ako, nag-explain ako, sorry. <laughs> ulitin natin. Ano, kala, ko na yung, kala ko nag-hang na yung computer ko. <laughs> okay, ulitin ko. Sorry. Ang no, ating key code, <laughs> ang ating key code ay Canva. Spell dash letter C, small c. Yung ating A ay ging at symbol, N, V, and then another at symbol. So, that's it. Alright, so again, it's C, uh, at symbol A or C at symbol N V at symbol A. So Canva po ang ating code. So wag niyo na pong i-share muna sa ating mga kuwari via Messenger lang ha para talagang tumutok po ang ating mga kaguruan na talagang uh, proof na talagang nanood po sila. So again, that's ay yung nakikita po niyo sa screen. Yes, Canva. Tama yan, Sir Maj, Sir, yeah. yung mga nag when when we share yung ating key code Tapos yung ating sineran ay magte-take din ng test and then kung hindi naman nila napanood still they will um they will uh, do it for how many times several times in answering these questions kasi meron po tayong quiz kahit na uh, meron kayong key code tapos hindi naman po kayo nanood what do you expect syempre uulit-ulitin niyo yun syempre hindi niyo masasagutan yun para estudyante lang pag hindi natin pinag-aralan what do you expect <laughs> magiging failure tayo so we suggest Ulitin natin, please watch the whole um, the whole video of our webinar session for Canva. Good luck sa quiz! Ayan na, yung mga hindi pa po nakakapagawa ng kanilang account sa ating LMS, madali lang naman po siyang gawin. Magsa-sign up lang po kayo and then use your um, DepEd email account or yung mga hindi walang DepEd email account, you may use your personal email account and then don't forget your username and your password na ginamit para hindi po kayo malilito or maliligaw. Okay po? Alright. Sir, uh, Sir Ariel, I think may message ang ating uh, Head for Educational Technology Unit. Uh, welcome natin ang ating Sir Mark Anthony C.C. Hello. Ayan. Good afternoon na po. So for our participants, you have to answer a 10-item question. Simpleng-simple lang po yun, pero uh, 
simple siya kung kayo ay nanood, pero kung hindi po kayo nanood, eh medyo mahihirapan po kayo. Pasensya na minsan tapos sa likod. Nagre-ready ako for the TV broadcast dahil nire-ready po namin ang lahat. So, for our participants, again, please take note that this activity is open until June 17, 2020 at 11.59pm. So, kinakailangan niyo pong sagutan yung set of questions, but of course, you need first to create your account in the DEP and PDLMS. And then from there, look for uh, Canva and then the access code na ibinigay po sa inyo kanina. Once you, have, uh, once you are there, meron po doon link for the YouTube video material kung gusto nyo pong balikan at kinakailangan nyo pong ma-perfect yung 10 item questions. Now, huwag kayong magugulat na bakit gano'n pag hindi ko po nasagutan, nag-iiba yung set of questions. Kasi po, nagsashuffle po yun at hindi nyo makikita yung answer key. Kaya kinakailangan na panood nyo po mismo yung actual na webinar dahil lahat ng tanong doon ay manggagaling sa webinar video. Okay? So, as of the moment, if we are having difficulty sa ating access sa LMS, like kunyari nakita nyo po na nagkaroon siya ng internal server error, pag po kayo mag-alala, gaya ng amin na banggit, ito po ay nasa stage pa rin po ng auto-scaling. So, makakatulong po ang inyong uh, uh, participation dito para lalo pa pong ma-expand ang ating server. So, again, in case na kayo ay maka-experience po ng internal server error, yung 500 gateway na yan, konting tiyaga at wag pong mag-alala. From time to time, just, to vi just visit it at hintayin po natin kung sakaling mag-open po siya ulit. Just refresh lang po. Again, Refresh lang po kung sakaling kayo ay nakaka-encounter ng problem. But of course, the course is open until June 17. So yun lamang po, good luck at God bless sa ating lahat. Sir Maj, Sir Ariel. Thank you to Canva Philippines. Maraming maraming salamat sa inyong assistance sa tulong. Yay! So maraming salamat po, Canva, for our education team. Ayan, thank you very much, Canva team. Ayan, Sir Ariel. Teka lang, meron. Ka pa, Sir Ariel. May nagpapa, ano, may nagpapa shout out. Birthday daw po kasi niya, Ma'am Emily Alcantara Marcelo. Yeah. From, um, I don't know what, where school. Ayun, basta from Bulacan, maybe. Ayan, si Ma'am Emily. Happy birthday! So again, maraming salamat po sa pagtutok sa amin. Maulan na araw, maulan na tanghali. Pero again, basta tayo walang bibitaw sa ating edukasyon. Maraming maraming salamat po. Enjoy your lunch. Sir Ariel? Yeah, thank you very much. God bless all to all our teachers. June 17, ang ating deadline ng ating LMS. So mahaba-habang... Uh, Pwede tayong mag-replay, pwede nating i-practice yan. And see you on June 18 and 19 dahil magkakaroon tayo ng 3D development sa Tinkercad. So, hello po. So, Bye-bye! Happy, Happy lunch! Thank you very much! Thank you kay Sir Raymond kasama ng Cavite. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Raymond. Sir Pax, happy birthday sa iyong baby. Yes, happy birthday, Nini!